<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh man. Let's see if this is going to start now. Day. Right, I've started the stream again here. Is it going to come back? Are we back? Uh, uh, looks like it is over on Twitch, yep. So All right. YouTube should be catching them just a second. So, hey, we're back, guys. Again, I was probably talking, but you couldn't hear me. So we are definitely having internet issues here at Keen because it's not we're all me, Maddox, the stream's going down and the server's going down because the server's in the back room here. So it's either just random issues that we're just happening to be having. Um, it, it could be something to do with the number of people all trying to join. I don't honestly know, but this is very strange. We've never had this kind of issue before. Uh, where we all go down together. So I, I do apologize, but we'll get back on. We'll try at least. Um, and then we will continue testing. Any ideas, Marek, what we can suggest? Like, even for the like for future streams, I'm thinking, like, if you know what this is. Hmm. hmm. I have to look, ask our IT guy to have a look. Have we gone? Oh. I will go and run some test, you know, but... Um... I don't think I can fix it, but no, no, at okay. least we'll know more. So I will be back. Okay, yeah, it's gone again. Oh dear. Uh oh. Can I just. Yep. Honestly, guys, this is. You're back again. I mean, could this be a DDoS? I, I mean, how many people are you, are you saying this is like an accidental DDoS with everybody trying to join in and play this? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because how many people actually? How many people are watching the streams combined right now? Because I guess if like, I don't know, like a, a thousand people, five hundred people even are all clicking join and they're hammering our server here in Keen with requests. It, it could, I guess. Because this is very like obviously we're on like proper. In, uh, industrial business internet here, right? So it, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised this is happening, but um, it would kind of make sense. The only option we have is actually just to, Philip, if you're listening, change the password of the server and we'll just have to change the password um, because you guys are so keen to test, help us test this, that this, this could be the reason that we're having issues here. <laughs> just hammering that, that poor server uh, wanting to join. And when the server's full, right? So. I left you a Discord message as well. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Okay, thanks, Jack. Uh, we'll see what we need here. Sure. I'm gonna message some of our guys. You see what I did uh, there? So keen to test. Yeah, exactly. Could also just be an actual DDoS. <laughs> Ever's happening here. From the battle itself, what was your guys' opinion? What, what do you? How did you think it ran? Did it look fun to play? And uh, you know, uh, fire those missiles, jump from ship to ship and stuff. I'm kind of interested to know your your thoughts from watching that until we had this issue here. Uh, well, it's definitely uh, like Shaq said. It's definitely something that you're not used to having in space engineers. Yeah, something is definitely wrong because I. I ran some ping, you know, like pinging some server. It's just like a, a speed test, right? Uh, something like this, but you see in each individual ping and if it arrived or not. And uh, in the beginning it worked, but then there were drops, you know, and normally this shouldn't happen. Okay. Hmm. So there is something like, something weird with our internet connection right now. I don't think we can fix this, you know. Tomas, Tomas should fix it. Well, the only thing we can do is, is just is, is change the server password so people can't so people can't join at the same time. Because if it isn't loads of people trying to join the servers, that, that could be it, right? We still have enough people. We can well, I can I can get some people from CTG and stuff. Is, but. From a desktop computer, I ran this ping. Yeah. And it was also dropping packets. And my computer, like our our like bandwidth to the office is is huge. You know, like people shouldn't be able to. Uh, stress it. Yeah, it, it is, it's very peculiar, that is for sure. And also I think, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think maybe this is on the Steam side, like, uh, you know, the authorization, if you can actually get to the server or not. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it is on our side, but I would say it's on Steam, so, and I guess they have like some, you know, like, load mm -hmm. for this stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 the question is, yeah, what can we do right now? But it's, I think, 
What can I do right now? If it's really uh, just the like local network, then I don't think you can do anything. Because like we can call the internet company, you know, and do all these things, but that will take time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if it is something with the actual server, then it's actually good to know. Because I don't want to go out also because I don't this. So someone is actually playing or? Yeah, we're still at the server still running. Oh, well, the, or at least the server came back up, I guess. Mm -hmm. Dreams up too. So yeah, it's it's running and it's running at, you know, it's running. Performance on the server is fine. It's just we're having, the, the, the issues are not, it's it's obviously classic. The the issues that we're having are not connected to the the game and its code, right? It's it's actually something separate to that. But it's unfortunate because of course multiplayer relies on uh, connection. So <laughs> yeah, but at least before this uh, internet outage, uh, it works well. Yeah. yeah. Even now it kind of works. You know. So what we could try and who's are you guys? Any of you got Shaq's in the server? Wace is in the server. Jack uh, is in. Okay, I'm right. almost just disconnected. It's like kind of locked up for a bit, which My I guess was crashed. coinciding with your connection loss. Okay. Every time the, the connection goes funny, the server yeah, doesn't die. One, one idea, but I don't know how much like, time will it take. If you can run this, this like the other servers, you know, we are ending. I had to open my Skype up and Mrs. Philip. Okay, you were losing connection, including Twitch. Exactly, yeah. It's not just the server. It's like my, this so PC is losing it's it. this, then it doesn't make sense because we'll not be able to, to stream. Let's just see what Philip's saying. He's a... Uh... And too much, he's on vacation, so... <laughs> Our IT guy's yeah. away, which is, yeah, perfect, right? So... It's gone again. The stream's on again. Man. That's about my end right now. A little bit of discuss the server. Are you on, are you on Twitch? Or am I on? Oh, oh no, there it goes. It's done. Yep. I might be just a little bit behind. And then we feel it on the server pretty hard when it goes down. Gotta like rush to catch up everything. Maybe next time we'll be doing this stream again with the actual release. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have Tomash watch over, you know, like this this side of the thing. Yeah. So we, one of our devs, Phil Con, the chat, is saying that it's an ISP issue. I mean, uh, was it last night or a couple of nights ago? I was I was doing something, and again, I was playing at home with a server at the office, and. Um, there was also some ISP shenanigans going on, uh, not related to the server, but related to the internet at the office. I was getting higher ping than I should have had. So it's, I think it's time we gave old uh, Mr. ISP a ring to find out. I guess the ISP is UPC. I, I, I... Well, that's another question because I'm sure we are changing. Oh, okay. But it's, right. yeah, for another like, time to solve this. I'm. I'm so we've got all you guys here now, I'm thinking it's like behaving kind of, the server's behave, but then when the server's behaving, then suddenly the stream's not, and the stream's cut out probably five or six times right, hasn't it, tonight? Um, but I do hope that you guys, um, like, at least what you've seen a little bit has been good, because um, it, it did at least that initial attack and the first uh, kind of half an hour was just fine. How are you guys? How are, how are you guys uh, here in Discord looking for time? Oh, we're fine. Oh, I'm fine. What about you two? I'm hanging out for a bit longer. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Whatever you guys want to do for a little bit longer. Um, if we want to schedule another fun stream. We can get some more uh, some more maps made up. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on this Sunday. I mean, we've been talking about like oh how well the uh, the multiplayer testing has been going with like 16 or even up to 30 players on the uh, the test servers you guys have been running. And we're like, oh, well, we want to do all these different kinds of maps. So I know that's what I'm going to be messing around with. Sounds good, man. I mean, I've been doing so many of these tests, and I know Shaq and the guys have, and really the, the potential for uh, scenarios now is, is massive because scenarios that would have been unplayable uh, are now really playable. Last night I was testing, and we got 60 players in an FPS map. So it was like it was, in a, it was a first person shooter map designed by. Uh, a player called Dave, and um, 
we managed to get 60 people connected and the server sim was 1.0. My local sim wasn't that good, um, but other people connected to the server, um, shout out Dr. Deganopus, for example, Planet Modder, he, on his rig, he had a i7-8700K and he had 1.0, 1.0 sim speed, 60 FPS with 60 players all running around him. Maybe I can get an image of this to show you guys um, if while we're waiting here for the, I mean, what do you reckon now, Mario? Reckon we're good? Mm -hmm. It seems to be fine now. I think it was a joiner. Yeah. It seems to have stabilized. <laughs> oh, somebody pasted in a noodle cup vending machine. This is fantastic. Oh, man. Is there it's any way you could open a slot on the server for me, if possible? Oh, sorry, Jack. Hold on. That's I'll... fine. I'm going from the bottom. These these three bottom people are going to be kicked. Sorry, Roni, dude. Sorry, Aaron, uh, Zan. I'm just... It's, it's too easy. Somebody give me access to the noodle cup machine. There you go. I'm yeah. locked out. Cheers. And priorities. One second. I'm going to try and get this. Oh. Oh, a station seen a number. This is, this is fine. This is what I wanted to get up. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. There's a hole in it. <laughs> it's, it's it's a feature. Skylight. Oh, Air okay. Flow. Is this the new eco feature? Okay. Yep. Now fall through the floor. We've kind of feng shui it. That's what we got going uh, on here. I so like this, an event uh, machine. Why is there a mech in here? There's a mech in here. He's here for the noodles, man. This Leave is the new noodle bar. Minutes. You've got noodles, mechs, holes in the walls. I'm coming to have a look in a second. You're, you're hitting all the highlights in this prime piece of real estate right now. I'm just, I'm right now I'm displaying an image on the screen, uh, stream, guys, from last night. And this was where we had around 30 players on each team, Whoa. all in one world. Whoa. It was really mad, man. It was here, really, buddy. really insane. What are we stream snipers? <laughs> You should send me this screenshot. Yeah, I can do, yeah, sure, man. It was really amazing. We were trying to get 64 in, but there was we, the last couple of people we were trying to, we were kind of fighting. How, so. how responsive was it with that many players? Because that's, I mean, that's double the max I've seen so far. Well, uh, if you've got a good PC yourself, it will be it will be just fine because again the server sim speed was 1.0, no problem. But depending on your hardware, your local sim won't be so good. And if your if your local sim is different from the server sim, then you notice some peculiarities, some strange things going on, right? Um, so some people had 1.0 and they were able to play like normal. I had around points. I can't remember what I had. But it was, I could feel there was something not quite right at that point. But if I, got a, if I upgraded my CPU, then I'd be fine. So, right. Uh, everything's good now. So I'm going to come back to the main spawn and see what you guys are up to. Just kind of, uh, you said there's some mechs and some vending machines going on over there. And I reckon it's... You can't let people load on a, on a, on a creative server for very long. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, also create a server with no limits, right? That's that's also one right. of the, the dangers. Pure chaos. Interstellar's turned up in here for some reason. All right. Something's been. Uh, oh, so that I felt something was pasted in. What's this over here? Ah, oh, actually, that's one of. Uh, I think we should go down to the planet now. On down to the planet and do some uh, planet stuff, right? So I'm going to paste in a planet, sure. in fact, and we can go paste down there. Or in fact, the moon will do. We can just travel down to the moon. You want to grab us a uh, spawn point? Yes, yeah. sir. So welcome to everyone who's joined the stream tonight. It's great to see so many of you here. And as I said, I know it's been uh, like, uh, we've kind of been busy behind the scenes working on stuff, but uh, we really have some really nice things and uh, surprises in store mm -hmm. soon at we married. So maybe, Joel, let's go to Q&A for a second. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. So. Yeah. If the guys in if the guys uh, in Discord here have any questions about uh, specific, ideally multiplayer, anything about it, you can ask Marek, and that would be great. Yeah, I got a question for you. So you mentioned having um, multiple servers around the world. What's the plan there? Are we gonna have official keen servers running for survival, or like, what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. So we will explain this a little bit in more uh, detail in the blog post when we'll release the multiplayer update. But for now, I can say that. Right now we are running uh, about 20 s 
20 space engineering servers, which is about five or seven, like real machines. And they're all around the world. And uh, we will most likely add few, like more to this pool, uh, at least for the like trial period for one month or something like this. So we will test it uh, if people uh, want to play on the official Kin servers, uh, then we can manage and so on. So again, to to keep this uh, story shorter, uh, the, the reason why we uh, are thinking about having our own official servers is that we can control the quality and uh, we can have them around the world and they can be, and this is the main, main, main reason, uh, they can be the first thing that the new players will experience because we don't want new players to end up on servers, you know, where there are griefers or people doing some stuff. We actually want new players to end up on servers that are well prepared for new servers. So we are preparing many more servers for the first month of this new multiplayer and then we'll see. Because there is one still unsolved thing and it is uh, like who will pay for these servers because uh, you know like our revenue is not made for continuous um, like expenses uh, on the servers and we never actually like consider this option so for one month we'll pay for this but then for later we'll need to decide uh, like how to get money for running of these servers. I guess that was my follow-up question was be are you going to be like partnering with anybody or working through anything to have um, uh, support for communities that want to have their own running servers like is there anywhere that we can uh, work through that solutions for that for communities for hosting our own like big servers yeah i think with people, proper hardware behind them yeah people can will be still able to run their own dedicated servers just like now and if they prove that their servers are well managed and good they will get this little star you know this this rank that they are recommended and actually you can even see it now in the uh join game screen you know in the server list there is i think it's star and basically when you put a mouse on it you will see that it's a recommended server. So right now our servers are recommended, but in the future we plan to give this star also to people who can manage their servers properly. properly. And it of, of course, uh, also what we are considering is uh, us running the servers and, you know, like doing this infrastructure part of the thing, and then volunteers or people from the community, uh, like game mastering, game, doing the game admin job. Uh, on these servers. That's another uh, possibility. Still kind of like unofficial, or like I don't want to promise it, but that's one thing. So again, to, to keep this short, uh, after we release the uh, new multiplayer, we will have many servers, probably tens of them around the world. Uh, they will be official, hosted by Keen. Uh, they will have their own dedicated game admins who will be making sure that the servers run well, and if someone's doing some mess, you know, they will clean it and so on. And, and uh, after this month, we will have to figure out uh, uh, how to pay for the servers. And also, uh, the servers, they will have the star that they are recommended. And uh, we'll be giving the stars also to other game admins. We'll be hosting their servers on their hardware uh, so that people can find them as, as recommended servers. So to be an approved kind of server, will there be... Will it, will being a modded server using mods to uh, keep you from being being able to gain that uh, I guess like more official status I, I wouldn't say that modded servers cannot be uh, cannot have this official status I would say it, it all depends on the basically on the admin you know if he understands okay. the mods and can set them up in a way that they provide good experience for newcomers then I personally don't have any problem giving the star. Okay, this is just one, obviously, a lot of that's been focused on dedicated servers. What are the plans for local hosted servers? You know, just being able to drop in with some friends and, and play a small game without needing to worry about maybe other people being on the server with me that might mess with my stuff, or vice versa, having to get a dedicated server to play. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm not 100% sure about this question because this is something that was open question. And obviously, like right now, you can uh, have this lobby, you know, and uh, you can play on your client and your friends can join. There are some uh, disadvantages in this model, you know, uh, when you compare it with dedicated servers. So uh, this is one thing that I still need to evaluate. So I, I cannot say more. 
Is that enough? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess you have to see how it goes more yeah. than anything else. Because there still needs to be some evaluation on this particular thing. Like the main uh, goal for this multiplayer thing was uh, dedicated servers. I mean, multiplayer in general, but we dedicated servers. And the lobby was kind of like less important thing, but uh, it was also important and, and I still need to evaluate. Sorry, Marek, I just, uh, I was just flicking through the grids and I just see this flying around. Mm -hmm. But the sim speed is holding up. I've got 1.0 sim speed, both local and client uh, server and 60 FPS. But it it looks like I'm driving around with my moon buggy right now with a couple other vehicles here. It, it looks like we don't have the, uh, this ESP issues anymore, right? Uh, no, I don't think. Well, it was dropping out a second. So what we, it was dropping out a little bit ago. So it's, it's still suffering a little bit. So I'm just gonna activate this drilling rig here in the center. This is the this is a a planet drill designed to go through a planet. So let's let this one. Now, Shaq, let me get on. Oh, okay. Hang on, I'll stop for you. I'm heading over to the planet drill. So uh, either side has quick. the door. You can pop in. Oh, um, so it's cool. All right, Ian. Okay, go, go, go. We're, we're rolling. Nice. Cool. It's my new exploration. It's actually buggy. quite surprising like how, how well the sim speed holds. Yeah, it's holding up really, I mean, oh my. to be fair, like this, this moon base here is one thing, but the fact out, the fact is, Marek, I, there's people out there in fricking, uh, is it, is it still there? I, oh, it seems to have, cause I, I did put no limits on this, but I, um, Oh, it seems to have gone. Maybe someone deleted it. Is this thing to go all the way to the planet? That's the idea. Oh, yeah, I see you've merged with so You just drop in the hole and just keep going. Nice. Um, you have still connection problems, so the ESP is... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Shaq, we're still losing you. It's such a shame because it is go like... Uh, it's... Just it's fine, yeah, but yeah, we lost the stream. I can see it, it goes red. It was great fun as well. Marek had just got on top of the truck I was driving and then yeah. gone for a ride as we jumped to the sky. I don't yeah, know why, but actually, and everything. It was totally good. Like and doing all this. of a sudden, it was like, oh, nope, the internet's gone. Yeah, I saw ways to jump over a hill there. It was hilarious. I think this requires more pistons. Just one more piston. Someone is saying that there is clunk. So, where is the clunk? Stop. Or not? Oh. Oh. No. No. So um. <laughs> what the hell is about it? Flying fortress in the air. In the air. Oh like man, it's a massive air. ship. Alien invasions. Holy moly. Some heavy expanse is going on. And I jump up to it in the car. That trail is so loud. <laughs> <laughs> that is very much a space engineer question. Can I do something ridiculous? He's going for it. Uh, almost. Did you make it? Uh, no. About halfway and the there. Drill is going. <laughs> it's continuing. The All right. <laughs> I guess the, the planet drill is still working. Good. <laughs> Who's this here? Oh, I'm Alex with me. Forcing life for the drill. <laughs> There's my shots. Come on, man. The race tank. I like that it was. We were gonna, you know, try out. I guess this this planet mining drill, and now it's like giant ship in orbit. People are trying to land on the ship uh, with their ground vehicles the while this no, thing yeah, is going. Yeah, I'm inside. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the entrance? Uh, it's K. You gotta go over I down down it. here. Any of the four stairs, there's, there's, a, there's a door there. Come down, Andrea. Uh -huh. I lost it again. Yeah. Uh, the connection tried. But the good thing is that <laughs> even with these ESP issues, you know, it's still okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, ser the server is, the server is running fine. It's just this ISP issue. It's nothing to do with the game, which is, which is, it's, it's, be it's better that way around, right? It's better to know that the server's running fine. Um, it's just we're having this issue right now. 
We, have we still got yeah, we still got the guys in Discord. Okay, right. But dropping out now and again, I guess. Nah, it's really. Oh, I've driven inside the planet. Um. What's the ping like? What, what, what kind of ping have we got? Uh, it's kind of standard, I guess. Yeah, I think we've lost the, lost the connection again. It's weird that Discord's standing, staying. I guess Discord requires the least bandwidth. It's only a little. It's only you know killer bit. Yeah, it's not. Well, it's it's not that big compared to sending the video feed or downloading the game data. Yeah, like I'm I'm in my vehicle and I can kind of move it, but I can't get out of it at the moment because I think it's I'm I'm sort of connected to the server right now. Yeah. It keeps dropping. And to be fair, there might also be some prioritization. I don't know. Maybe Discord tries to. Uh... Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Is that you doing so a jump? <laughs> it's so close. Um, get back here. <laughs> Oh, uh, almost, almost. Good landing, though. Good landing. There's a car chase going you on. You gotta have wheels on that wasted. Ah, uh, well, that's how you know it's one of mine. <laughs> it's gotta have 16 wheels, no less. Does it have wheels in the middle as well as on the sides? Oh, yeah, okay, like then. 27 wheels. I gotcha. Yeah, look. <laughs> Until I steal one. There's quite a lot going on, Mark, actually, because, I mean, like, um, the... I think controls just still checking on. On a on, on a standard server, a lot of this stuff might not be allowed because of the uh, either the PCU limits or uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, restrictions. And this this server has no restrictions, um, just because it actually it's it's an older world. Actually, that's one of the reasons. I, I think it might be them. a good plan for either you or Marek to tell everyone a bit more about the PCU limits and how they work. Because I know for one, I don't quite understand how they work at a minute so maybe we could do a like, little explanation if possible yeah that's a good question and there are actually not that many people who know how the PCU works so um, oh, come on. basically the principle is that uh, like why we introduced them is that um, each block yes. we can assume has per uh, certain performance cost and it's different for wheel different for uh, gravity generator and for other things and it's kind of like estimated because in different situations they are costly different. And uh, the PCU limits, uh, so for example, uh, wheel will have uh, one wheel will be equal to let's say five PCUs, one armor block, let's say one PCU, and so on. And uh, then you have some limits uh, like per faction and per player. And uh, basically, you can build up to that limit. And then uh, the trash removal kicks in and starts removing uh, blocks that are somehow marked or kind of like detected as uh, unused. So it shouldn't uh, delete the stuff that you are working on right now. It should delete something that is that you didn't approach for a long time or uh, something that is too far uh, far away from you or something that resembles a debris and so on. And uh, so there are these two things basically: uh, PCUs and uh, Trash removal. And when it comes to the PCUs, I noticed that the, uh, for example, the reloadable rocket launcher has a PCU of like 450, whereas an armor block has a PCU of one. What's the thinking behind that, that quite large difference between the two? It actually makes sense because the, the launcher uh, can shoot uh, missiles, and the missile. Uh, just like thinking of from top of my head, the missile where it can get costly is that uh, it's doing gray casts to the geometry, and so uh, every missile, you know, these are just running around or like flying around, is doing many of these ray casts, uh, trying to detect uh, if there is some collision, if it shouldn't explode, and so on. And these are actually quite expensive, you know. I mean, they're not super expensive because we try to optimize them, but, but they're still uh, expensive if you have like hundreds of them or thousands of them. And, you know, like when we were doing these big, uh, large ship battles, there were many uh, missiles flying around. I don't know, of course, exactly how many, but it looked to me like, let's say, 20, 50, like at all times or at any time, there was at least 20, 50 missiles. So that's one thing, uh, these raycasts, you know, when the missile is flying and then when it hits something, explodes, there is damage, you know, so we need to calculate these, these damaged and deformed armors plus uh, the other damage on the on the ship or whatever it hits. So this is the thinking behind it. Actually, missiles, not just the uh, uh, this rocket launcher. Yeah, actually, rocket launcher can also have like itself its own uh, cost, and that's actually like how it's spinning and, and looking around where to shoot. Uh, it also needs to be the casts, 
and to detect you know like if there is not some enemy uh, where it can shoot and so on so that's also kind of costly and uh, uh, again even if you optimize it if you have a ship with many of them let's say like 100 or just many of them it will cost uh, so if you compare this like uh, your comparison with armor and uh, launcher is very good because armor is just doing nothing you know it's just there it's just being rendered if something happens to this armor it's being deformed and so on but the launcher uh, it's constantly doing something like seeking for the enemies and when there is an enemy shoots the missile and then the missile is also doing the ray casts that makes sense mm -hmm. it's a better, i had a feeling it was along those lines but that's a far better explanation than i would have made up so yeah mm -hmm. I mean, if no one else has anything else, I do have another one. Go for it, man. Yeah, sure. go for it. Uh, okay, th this one's just regarding the sort of experimental mode. We've seen it crop up in the, the test stuff as, as sort of a, there's a new option there and people run it internet tonight to get into the creative world. You have to go and turn experimental on. Is this something you're planning on sort of actually carrying through to the full release or is this something just implemented for this testing phase? Uh, and if it's full release, sort of how much stuff is going to be in that experimental section? Uh, this is something that will like keep on even in the final release and uh, the reasoning behind this is uh, like during the development of space engineers we have implemented many features uh, as some kind of experiments or I mean the whole space engineering is still some kind of an experiment until it's released and uh, uh, we like due to let's say time reasons we cannot finish all of these features uh, or, and this is most uh, more common, we kind of don't want because we don't think they, b they belong to, to the like vanilla space engineers. And another reasoning is that, uh, for example, mods or creative mode, or let's, let's focus on mods. In mods, uh, people can put any mods in their worlds and we don't have any control uh, about these mods, you know, so there can be like very inefficient mods or buggy mods and so on. And uh, so with uh, having this experimental mode, uh, what we wanted to do is this, that a new player who doesn't know nothing about Space Engineers, by default his game runs in non-experimental, in uh, we call it like safe, but we don't want to, we don't want to say that, you know, the other stuff is unsafe, we just want to say that uh, it's not running in, uh, in experimental. And this player uh, shouldn't, he should experience Space Engineers in the way we want it and in a way that we can guarantee good experience you know like good sim speed uh things working working well and fast and so on uh for more experienced players which actually is everyone who already is playing space engineers i think the main thing is is like nearly everyone uses uh, some mods not yeah. everyone does but a lot of people yeah. do i would say uh, the majority of people use some mods. so people who already have installed and play space engineers they will have experimental mode installed uh not installed enabled by default and then they can do these experimental things and currently uh what is in experimental uh i'm not 100 percent sure about all these things because we are changing them like here and there so uh, i may say something wrong and i hope then i will fix it in the in the blog post there will be in like uh the true will be in the in the blog post but right now i think creative in multiplayer you need to be in experimental and the reasoning behind this is that uh, in uh, in experimental mode in multiplayer people can start uh, copy pasting huge ships exploding like many warheads they can completely disable pcus this you know performance counter limits uh, and so on uh, and uh, so we don't have control uh, around what people can do there and we're actually thinking about many ways how we can limit people in what they can copy paste to the game but this was also against our another philosophy that we had since the beginning that we don't want to limit people in what they can do in space engineers that we always were assuming that okay we'll let them do whatever they want like copy paste whatever they want big uh, uh, build uh, ships as big as they want or at least it's uh, how much is technically possible and they will understand that you know like it's running slow because the ship is super huge and so so uh, and we want to keep this this philosophy but again we also want to make good experience for new players who doesn't understand these complex things because they are still new to the game so that's uh that's what else is uh currently in the experimental mode so if you want to run mods you know that's in experimental mode 
uh, I think spiders and uh, and uh, and dogs. I think it's air tightness at the moment. I think it's air tightness yes, yes, scripts, yes, yes. mods, creative mode, block limits, and uh, oh, air, yeah. Oh, sorry, I mentioned air tightness, didn't I? Oh, and yep. weirdly, the FOV slider. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? They actually am surprised. Yeah, I, that one felt a bit out of place. That's a little bit strange. <laughs> I will look on this. So chat's asking, um, tech stack wanted to know what are the server specs that you guys are running so they can kind of compare their servers they've already got set up. Okay. Uh, I need to remember. I was actually copy pasting this to, to someone in a, in Reddit and I think it's like four gigahertz and I'm, I think it's around, uh, four or eight cores and or let me let me check. You can ask something or like do do something else, okay. and, and I will. Uh, well, while you're looking at that one, uh, Harrod wants to know how how the process for getting a verified server work, or how do you see it working once that uh, that's underway? Uh, usually, I think uh, in the beginning it will be by recommendation, which means that. Uh, we'll see that uh, someone is managing the server well, people joining that server are happy, and that will give the server this ranking. So uh, uh, okay. in the future, maybe we'll make more kind of like, you know, standard procedure kind of thing where people will ask, uh, we'll have some checklist and so on. But in the beginning, I think it will be uh, by recommendation or by just us seeing what the people in the community are doing and so on. So I just see uh, X-Wing posted something uh, regarding the question on the servers. So it's not exactly what... Uh, okay, so it's basically 3.5 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz. Uh, as far as I know, uh, we usually have like 32 giga RAM per server and there are multiple dedicated servers running on one physical server, I think three or something like that. And uh, so I wouldn't say it's any special hardware. Uh, what was very important for us was that we needed a lot of gigahertz. So we rather uh, choose servers that have a lot of gigahertz and less cores uh, when compared with servers, you know, like sometimes in business applications you have servers that don't have that many gigahertz but have many cores. And the reasoning for this is that we need our servers because there can happen ev events like, uh, you know, uh, collisions, deformations, and you need the results being computed fast, like immediately. Uh, you don't care about you know, like paralyzing this thing because some of these things cannot be paralyzed that well. So we don't care about paralyzation. You just want that calculation being, you know, like calculated as fast as possible. So gigahertz are where we are looking for. And since now we are preparing some more uh, dedicated servers, you know, these official servers, uh, we'll also look a little bit more into, you know, like what is available currently on the market. So maybe we can have some like 16 core servers running for gigahertz and it can be actually cheaper for us in this load balancing of the, of the performance of uh, us being able to have more dedicated server per one physical server. But I think that's just technicality. Okay, cool. Uh, I got another one, though, so you guys want to ask a question. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so uh, Jesse wants to know, and I, I, I really like that this is now a feature, um, the safe zones. Will, there, will they be in the official uh, the I guess, official servers, or will we be able to, be able to place them in their, um, in their own world, the like, no damage safe zones we've seen already in yeah, some of the testing? Yeah, definitely. Like, the game master or the game admin, he has the right to, to put a safe zone, like whenever he wants. Like players who join the server and don't have these rights, of course they cannot because they would break the game. But the game admin, he has the right and he can do it. So even on the uno not official keen servers, people will be able to manage their safe zones. And the funny thing is uh, regarding the safe zones is that we had it in our design five years ago. And then as we're implementing one feature after another from our roadmap, uh, this one uh, actually kind of, I, I wouldn't say like was forgotten, but was being put on hold for too long. So I'm actually surprised that we are adding it 
only now because it was supposed to be in the game much sooner and would make sense much sooner. All right, I guess hopefully that answered your question. So we'll be able to put those down in whatever, like, the maps that we've exactly. got and stuff. So mm -hmm. we'll have safe, some safe areas to spawn in for whatever the event is going to be. That was the uh, idea, like, uh, that the, the games in Space Engine should be that you have this big solar system, you have few safe zones, you spawn in the safe zone, the safe zone should be big enough so that you can actually leave the safe zone unharmed, you know, and they cannot, like, uh, surround you. And uh, then you can do some stuff. And uh, this was like the design principle. Nice. Uh, let's see if we've got another one here. With the um, the keen sort of official servers, it sounds like you've got some plans to be running those long term. Have you got any plans for sort of how exactly that's going to be funded? Is there anything planned longer down the line for? So say after release, because obviously server costs are expensive, they'll build up. Yeah. Uh, so I, I mentioned this in the beginning uh, when I started to talk about these servers, is that for the first month we will pay for, you know, for these servers, and then we will have to figure out how how to fund these servers or how to pay for these servers. There are many options, uh, uh, but I kind of don't want to discuss them uh, right now here, all of them, and. Uh, we don't know yet, you know, that's the thing. And uh, uh, the estimation is that it can be something around $10,000 per month, which is not something that would kill us, but still, you know, it's something that would go out of our uh, pocket. So it would be good to find a way how to fund this, you know, how to get some revenue that can pay for the server so that we can also have more servers in the future. And maybe, and this is kind of not covered right now, but uh, has more professional support and maintenance for the servers 24 7 because right now in the beginning it will be our people uh the, you know the programmers the testers who will be watching the servers 24 7 kind of and uh but uh we as a team are not really prepared for this 24 hour 24 7 uh support uh, operation so uh, if you want to do this professionally we also need to invest in this direction and then you probably need the funding for this thing Oh, there and was a question and about and an, just an older thing. One more thing. Oh, sorry. Uh, someone is surprised with the price. Uh, uh, the price is not just for a bunch of servers. Like, let's say if there will be like 100 servers or something like this, then it can get to 10,000 or so. But again, I, I don't remember this number, so take it with, uh, you know, like, caution. And it's just like that, that we're calculating how many players are usually uh, in a space engineers at one moment, you know, and usually we go between 2,000 and 5,000 uh, people uh, being in the game right now. And this, this changes uh, during the day, like everyone who knows Steam charts can see this graph. And so the worst case scenario is that there is 5,000 people in space engineers. And from statistics, we know that half of them are playing multiplayer. So that's 2,500 people in the worst case, uh, playing multiplayer. And if you have uh, 16 players per server, or let's say 32, but we're counting with 16, that's something like, let's say 300 or so uh, servers, you know, that uh, uh, space engineers, dedicated servers that need to be on all the time. That's the, again, worst case scenario. Uh, and we will test it during the first month. I'm pretty certain as well that pretty much all Space Engineers players would agree with me when I say if multiplayer was as good as some of what we've experienced in this test, there would be a much higher percentage playing multiplayer as well. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are just kind of frustrated with it at the moment are really keen for yeah. this patch in particular. Yeah. I agree, definitely. From what we've seen from first reactions, definitely people are enjoying what's the update that hopefully it's going to come like. So I can see this being really good, but, you know, let's see how it goes. One of the ones from chat was about air tightness. Now, I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this, but I think Marek will probably explain a bit better uh, about air tightness in the experimental mode. Uh, so the ATAR, air tightness is uh, implemented in Space Engineers. We implemented it about, let's say, three years ago. And uh, the thing is that there are many edge cases where it can be very performance expensive, you know, because the game needs to be calculating uh, where the air is leaving some closed area and uh, it's some kind of 
and I don't want to go into details too much, but uh, it's some kind of like fat fill algorithm. So it needs to be like, you know, it detects if uh, this area is empty or, or not, detects more and more and so on. So it can get, get can get kind of like exponentially more complex if you have larger areas or uh, more holes and so on. And uh, the thing is that uh, we think it will be out of the scope of current space engineers to do this in a way that we can guarantee 100% good performance on any kind of ships you can build uh, and then implement uh, air pressure or air tightness into this ship. So for this reason we decided to put it to experimental mode uh, for people who still want to play with the air tightness and understand that it's unfinished feature, uh, unoptimized feature and uh, but because it will not be part of the official uh, feature set of space engineers it, it shouldn't be part of the official game but still because we want to support the people who are used to this feature and who know this feature and want to use it it still will stay in the game i know that probably not everyone will be super happy about this but this is one of the attributes of uh, doing early access and being open you know with all the features that sometimes you release some feature and sometimes you need to take out some feature and uh, as we say at the end of every video space engineers is uh, still in development everything is subject to change so this is one of the things so well, we and it's this. nice that you're not removing anything it's simply being put into a section yeah. where we yeah. can still access it that's not you know, it's not the same as it being completely taken yeah. away yeah yeah this, it's fine this, is also, many... this is also very important and uh, we didn't want to take it out uh, we just want to be really clear about that it's not official feature, uh, we cannot support it or we cannot uh, say, you know, like we cannot stand behind this feature. But what is this is the feature that we're talking about for, for air tightness particularly? Yeah, this is air tightness. Is that official? Yeah, but okay. also for example spiders, you know, that's not something that uh, we think is the official version of, or, or it should be the part of the official game. and. Uh, on the other side, like a more positive side, I think that in the future uh, we will revisit this and uh, we'll re-implement the air tightness to be just in like flawless and fast with any kind of design that you will build, N not just now. Uh, speaking of official features, uh, I saw one question there about the old exploration feature, which would take, uh, as I understood it, would take builds that were submitted to the workshop of a certain size and as long as they were vanilla and potentially put them into people's games to find. Is this something that uh, we're, we're going to see in the multiplayer servers, or is this going to be another, um, I guess, not official option? Mm, I think right now it's unofficial, or I mean, sorry, uh, I think right now it's in the experimental mode. And uh, regarding like these changes, uh, or regarding stuff that is more about survival and experiencing the game and stuff like that, uh, that's our next... Uh, update that we will be working on but don't take it like the next update is the survival just think about this like the next uh, update is about focusing on the gameplay experience balancing stuff making the game easier to access for new players and so on and uh, maybe some people will not be happy because they don't like when I don't want to talk about some some things but again uh, it's still open in, in our team and uh, I don't want to say something which will not be true in, uh, let's say, three months, you know, so I would not rather talk Fair that much uh, into these details. But in principle, if I'm talking about long term future of space engineers or whatever, you know, we will do next or like where this this whole engineering genre will evolve. Uh, I think the idea that people uh, build their creations and we put them to the game is something that actually I consider a core that uh, the next game or some future game should have this feature even as uh, core mechanics in the game you know people building stuff in one big world sharing together and it somehow works you know we provide the infrastructure that these things work and uh, so i think it's it's actually very important very cool. I know that was one of the features that I was really excited for. You guys kind of started putting it in there. It's like, oh, man, I'll be able to come across things that people have built and give the world a little bit more life in your maps. Uh, one question that's come up a bunch that I would be amiss to ask, though I don't think you guys are going to be able to answer it. Uh, when will the community be able to grab, uh, get their hands on a release version of the multiplayer? Like, finally out and about. And so what do, what do you think? Like, 
What would be your <laughs> guess? Shit. Guys. Oh, what's what's the question? Uh, what do you think? Like, what would be your bet? When do you? On think... when it's coming out? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's that's a tough one. I mean, this whole thing was kind of a big surprise to me. So I I would like to say you know as soon as you guys can push that button, so we can start playing in multiplayer with you know 16 plus people, uh, would be my choice. But uh... so so you are happy with the state it is right now? You know this multiplayer this... version. This Go current ahead, state right. is is so much better than what we've got currently on our current update. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that we're not having fun with that current update, but this would open up an entire world of new possibilities. Yeah. We've all got so many plans at the moment that just are sitting basically on the idea of when this update drops, I'm going to do X and X and X and X. There's a big list of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, and it, and it feels like it's at that point already. I mean, all of our experience with this, I mean, obviously it, it's all of our experience with this, on, on your servers, and I haven't had a chance yet to experience it outside of that, but your servers have been great. I mean, what we're doing, what I'm doing right now, like with, with this many players, we've got three massive capital ships flying around, firing huge barrages of missiles. I've got some guy trying to get on top of my ship, and it's, I've, I've just been quiet in the background here, but it's been awesome, just like taking these, this kind of like uh, the space combat scenario, which is just kind of, just random stuff at this point. There's nothing, we're just kind of flying around shooting each other, but it's, uh, it's been really, really great, and the sim speed's pretty much holding solid at 1.0. It, it did drop a second ago for some reason, but it dropped and then it came back up. And I think one of the key things about this, uh, the changes that have been made is the sim speed recovers. Because, sure, if you go into an unlimited world with no uh, limits, you might pace in some crazy stuff and you will cause problems. But what, what the great thing about this update is, is that the sim speed will actually recover now. Because in the past, you could like delete a lot of things and the sim speed, maybe due to memory leaks or whatever, the sim speed would still be terrible. But on the whole now, uh, the sim speed gets back up to 1.0 quite quickly after something bad. I mean, right, right now, like something's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I've seen do this station. is stuff crashing into voxels. Yeah. It's the only yes. thing I've seen do this sort of slowdown. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's... The back to the question, yep, yep. Uh, Aaron, thank you so much for asking at Space Industries. But uh, what, so what, what is the, the word? Are we going to get any... Oh, we didn't answer the question, did we? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not letting it. I'm not. I gotta, I gotta push it because this community's over here. Like, hey, Shaq, you yeah, want yeah. it? Give me the thing. So I think it will be very soon, and uh, we will review the results of this public test on Monday, and then we'll make the decision. So, uh, and then when we make the decision, it's pretty fast. So uh, I hope that's enough. And uh, again, I don't want to give some false hopes, you know, or anything like this. I think we are pretty close to the release, and. Uh, Again, uh, Monday, Monday we'll do the review and we'll see. And uh, maybe there are still things that we would like to like change a little bit or maybe like polish some details on this mm -hmm. multiplayer. Mostly it, will, it would be uh, user interface stuff. And uh, But uh, on the other side, there is this thing that while we will be doing so, people would, would not be like people who don't care about user experience would not be uh, enjoying this uh, this new multiplier code. So uh, that's w one good reason why the, the update should come out rather sooner than later. Uh, and this is actually a question that's come up a few times. Uh, Caleb's asking, and I, I kind of, I'm curious myself, now that we have the possibility of, of lots of players on a server um, and, and spending a lot of time building stuff, uh, will there ever be some kind of a uh, claim system or a way for us to protect our things that we have built when we log out? That that offline rating is what they're worried about, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Uh... Well, uh, maybe I will not answer exactly like if we will do this or not. Uh, um... Because, yeah, sometimes we just need to like consider multiple options and so on. But one idea uh, that I like that the guys in medieval team have for some future future update or for something is uh, a system where uh, if you want to fight with someone, you need to start an official or you need to declare a war. And so, you know, like war is not something just, just randomly like shooting on some guy, but actually if you want to do some damage, you need to... Uh, declare a war. There is, let's say, some timeouts, you know, and things like this. So you cannot wage and stop war and wage war and stop war. 
you know, there needs to be some, some rules to this. And uh, another benefit can be that you can get notified. Like, imagine that you are offline, you know, like you left your game, you are, let's say, in your job or in school, and someone just declared war on you. And you get notification on by email or something. So you leave the job, you know, get your computer, start playing Space Engineers and protect your, uh, your belongings. So that's one idea. So uh, this was more like describing what is our thinking, but regarding saying or promising how exactly this will work or how we will implement it and when we will implement it, that's also a major question uh, that's still open. Okay, cool. I know something that we were talking about was uh, curious how big like maybe safe zones could get so we could have an admin safe zone, uh, an entire base or something for a player faction. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh, uh, finding route, you know, routes around it until official tools come out to allow us to do this. Joel, do you know how big the safe zone can be right now? Well, actually, I was going to show the safe zone feature okay. off right now so we could do so this. So let's check yeah. because like my design was that they can be big, you know, like kilometers. And, but most of the time I saw only smaller, like let's say 100 meters, 200 meters. Yeah, currently the limit is 500. I personally would also would like it to be kilometers big yeah. because then you could have because like... That was the design, you know. Uh, originally, right. Yeah. Like locking down a planet would be nice. Just yeah. be like, okay, yeah. this is the safe building zone for the noobs. Yeah. Don't go blowing it up. And, and, <laughs> and the reasoning for this was that uh, it's not just having big area, but also having a big surface, you know, where you can leave this. Uh, safe area so they cannot surround you. So what we do is uh, we, you come to wherever you want as a server admin you come to this new menu under the admin screen called uh, safe zones and I just click new safe zone and that's now called my safe zone I can rename this and can call this safe zone uh, main safe zone and this is just for my purposes if they have lots and lots of safe zones I know which one is which so I don't have to have like so I can have red safe zone blue safe zone and this has created a, a cubicle uh, safe zone around this station. So right now it's actually not active because it's grey and also it won't work, um, it won't uh, protect the whole station, right? So I can come into this menu and I can even change the axis, each axis here, like this, see like this. So it can be kind of more custom shape or you can change it to be spherical and the radius here can go all the way up to 500 uh, meters, which in fact covers nearly this entire asteroid cluster. So this could be a perfect example for like um, a server hub. Like you could have like a, a server hub which when you first join a server, you are protected from being attacked and griefed and so on. And you can kind of get your, uh, where when you first get your bearings when you first join a server. This is just an example of how big it could be. But again, Marek, we could talk to the guys and see if we can make it bigger. Because I think the potential of making it bigger would also open up some cool stuff. And Joel, uh, I guess you can have more safe zones, right? Yeah, yeah. You okay. I don't think so. So maybe limit. you can like, have more of them and create a bigger space. Uh, yeah, so you can do that and you can, let me just show the, the uh, filtering system here. So what you have is, you can change between different modes for each of these things. So I can either have a whitelist mode, which will only allow in these certain people, or I can switch the mode of the players to blacklist. So that means everyone's allowed in mm -hmm. except these people, which is obvious, right? Um, and then you can also add permissions for individual uh, factions. So I can have like the United Blue Empire, for example, is allowed in this faction. That's on whitelist mode. So you can see it changed from blacklist of players, whitelist for factions. And we also have uh, individual grids. So maybe only Red Ship 101 is allowed to be in this safe zone or only... Uh, you know, um, colony transport ship is allowed to go inside this. So there's a lot of potential here. And of course, there's also floating objects, which is a slightly weirder one. So now that we've allowed anyone in, what we can do is, Chef also put on the, the mode to blacklist here for the grids, because otherwise I think this will, yeah. So if we set the grids to blacklist as well, oh no, no, not the factions, that'll be bad. Um, and in fact, we can do it so we can put the Octo Dock in and nothing else there. So what will happen is, Manic, now when I click Zone Enabled, the grids that aren't allowed in here will get forced out. So... You mean enemies? Yeah, so that... I'm actually that... watching it change colors here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> From inside. Can you make it invisible? You just spun me out. No, yeah, you can't. Let's check this. Yeah. You can't make it invisible, um, and again, this is this is such a new feature. But yeah. I'm, I think once you release it, and even now, we can start gathering feedback about it. And I've even got some really cool ideas for what we could do with this uh, this safe side like, thing. Guys, you think that it's just uh, 
it should be either more transparent or not visible, right? It should be an option yeah. to view it. Like, it I mean, I, like if a... you're going to do kilometers wide, it'd be nice if you're just like passing into the area, just have it come up to the corner that you've entered, you know, mm -hmm. whatever they put as the name of it. So, you know, you're in like space or safe territory or whatever you want to call it, just to give you some indication, but you don't need it actually like visible mm -hmm. coloring the entire skyscape. See, at least that's what it seems that way. You've left the safe zone. Not even oh, tells no, you when you walk through. It seems like something you could maybe add to one of the UI toggles, a bit like you have with um, antennas. Yeah. You know, have have the safe zone toggleable to turn, yeah. just turn off the visibility. That's a good idea. Once you know it's there. There was a question about now that with multiplayer and more players, is there um, any? I, I, this isn't really multiplayer related, I guess, but I'm gonna go and drop it in here anyways. Um, you planning on having more for generation of like you've got planets, anything like gas giants, or actually have the the sun no longer just an object out in the distance that a uh, light source, but actually something in the system uh, with us that we can fly around. Spatial stuff. So if the sun will be an actual object? Object, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Uh... Like, uh, maybe sometime in the future, uh, and I'm thinking, uh, no. like we have, uh, I think the conversation went on uh, in chat was, was basically running of, okay, if you're going to have safe zones, maybe you can have safe systems for new players. Uh, and then once they've used their jump drive to go to a new space, that's maybe PVP oriented. Now they're going into, you know, you know what you're getting into, cause you're going into this little area of the map. Um, and have it deno donated by maybe a, a different colored star or something. There's a, a whole talk about it in here. Mm -hmm. So what I've just done here, Marek, I've put a safe zone within another safe zone so you can have all kinds of rules. And this is like my own little personal bubble. So only I'm allowed in. And you can see Wasted being catapulted back there. He's not allowed in here. Um, I've tried to shoot him. I've tried to grind him. It's all disabled. I can't get him. <laughs> so, so back to this sun yeah. question uh, and also the, the like size of the solar system and uh, like having more systems and so on. So right now, uh, in space engineers, you have this big solar system, and everything that is inside is uh, is a like a regular object. You know, so planet is a planet. It's not just some fake object on the background. It's like real planet you can land on and even dig through and so on. Uh, the only like this far distant object is uh, is the, the the sun, and you know these little stars and uh, and things like that. And for now, I think it would stay like this. And uh, because even this solar system is big enough for <laughs> for all of us, <laughs> uh, so like having more more solar systems uh, in this moment uh, would not probably bring uh, that much new. Plus, also there is this thing that we are in a phase where we actually want to finish uh, or finish. Uh, we want to polish and uh, get space engineers to the proper state. So adding new features uh, will not actually help us. But in the future, of course, uh, we have an idea for a game. And I I was already talking about this game three years ago. So maybe some people remember. And uh, in that game, having more systems would actually make sense. But that game is actually more than just about uh, having different spatial system where you can be. So that's a totally different story. But for now, I think even the solar system is big enough for, for uh, like, all people in the universe. It's one that's come up in chat a couple of times um, to do with like features in experimental mode. Are the ones in that in that sort of side of things now ones that you plan to not develop further and, and are happy with, or ha either happy with how they sit or vice versa, have decided like with air tightness that they're just kind of not going to work out? Uh, the second thing. So. Uh, I, I'm not saying that all of the features that are currently in experimental uh, mode may not move out of the experimental mode because there can be some exceptions when we'll like review them again. Uh, but uh, so it's like you know like maybe there are some exceptions, but in principle uh, they should stay in experimental mode. And if you'll touch them and redo them, it will be like in a really far future, not right now. Because, uh, and this is just like practical explanation, if you start, for example, working on uh, air tightness, uh, it means we'll probably not work on something else, something which is mm -hmm. probably more important for players. And of course, we can do many things in parallel in Keen, but 
sometimes uh, focus and the focus of the entire team is more important than more features. Like for example, I think that what we did with this multiplier wouldn't be done if it wasn't main focus of our team for last, I don't know, six months. You know, yeah, about six months, isn't it? Yeah. Basically since the visual tweaks. And of course it was important for us even before that because we were still doing something with the multiplier. But uh, it wasn't focus of the entire space team, which is around 20 people. Uh, it was usually focus of one guy, two guys, and sometimes you know, like once in a month or you know that kind of frequency. But now it was really focus of uh, almost 20 people for six months, and uh, they didn't do that much of other things. And uh, although like we did some little things here and there, and you will see them, but. Uh, I think uh, I think if we did, didn't do this focused thing, uh, the multiplier wouldn't look right now. We had everyone all hands on deck, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, because yeah, yeah and really, it's a really dramatic important. difference. Yeah, yeah. and this is actually what I liked uh, in Keen, uh, like in the old days. And then when we were bigger and we were starting to paralyze things, I couldn't get my hand on everything, so I started to like lose focus, of course, and also to lose the like my hand on different things. So I also wasn't super happy. So now when there is kind of like less people and we do one thing after another, not in a parallel way, but in a more serial way, I'm also more happier because I can, you know, like give them my feedback, test it. I don't need to focus on like 20 features in parallel. I can focus on one main feature. Uh, and then we'll like after multiplier, we'll focus on another big thing and so on. So it's also, also better for me. And uh, I think when we are doing it like this, you know, like four years ago, three years ago, uh, people are happy because we are developing one thing after another, you know, these weekly updates. And I think it was because we are really focused on one or two or three things maximum at the same time. And uh, that was the way how I think we should be doing it. So, uh, so again, uh, the, the original question was, for example, air tightness. So the answer is that uh, we need to prioritize what to focus on and we cannot focus on everything. We really need to pick a few things and rather less than more and then focus on them and, and uh, finish them to like super quality. That makes, makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. uh, people are getting real excited for the multiplayer because you can see all the, they're talking about all like possibilities now, what they want to do in it. Um, one question that was asked by Flip uh, Drifter and I'm sorry, I lost the third one there. Uh, it's it, it, all right, guys. I'll ask, but I don't. I don't think you're gonna get much. Um, the idea of transferring between servers has come up a couple of times. Um, like having some kind of ability to go from one server to the other with maybe a small build. Um, have you guys ever thought or uh, yeah, I, I think this, wanted to do anything like idea. that? And I would keep it open for some future game, not for this particular ins installation of Space Engineers, because, uh, you know, uh, the game is almost done. But for the future installation, uh, I think it's perfect. Like having one big world, uh, you know, permanent universe, or actually permanent, like many universes, and traveling between them uh, seamlessly, like without the join screen, you know, like just from the game through some gates or or anything like that, and <coughs> it makes very good sense. Uh, and I, 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 it's one of the things that we will look uh, in some future game, future installation. Now, now, when you say that space engineers, um, you know, finishing up the game, what's the requirements before you guys feel like that's that's that point? Like, what are you what are you aiming for uh, that would be considered finishing up the game? And uh, you don't mean like hardware requirements, right? You mean like uh, the oh, no, no, hardware requirements? I mean like actually like features. Like what what are you shooting for that makes you feel like okay, this is the point where Space Engineers and it's, um, I mean, how long has it been now? Six years? Uh, it's been a while. You guys have been even. I've been following this since uh, you guys dropped on Indie TV those those early posts on the news. Uh, when when did you hit that point where you're like, you know, this is this is the feature list that uh, it's feature complete. That's what I'm looking for. The word feature complete. I would say that right now it's almost feature complete. Uh, there are probably few like details that we will add but uh, I would say they are kind of like minor or maybe another way how to put this is uh, there may be some new mechanics or 
changes in some existing mechanics, but only as a tool for how to kind of close it, you know, to make it one consistent uh, system, to space engineers one consistent uh, thing. I, I don't expect that we'll add some super new features or that we'll uh, make any revolutionary feature changes in the game. Uh, I just think that uh, we are consolidating things, optimizing, uh, of course, bug fixing. We are also trying to make the game a little bit more uh, user intuitive, uh, so it's more friendly for new players. And uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. You guys got any other questions? Um, I think I'm out for a minute. I'm going to struggle to find ones that are due to, to specifically due to multiplayer now. But I mean, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of questions, new, but it's a lot that aren't really multiplayer focused. We're not ignoring you guys. It's just that we got it's got to be multiplayer related. Got to keep it on 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 point. Uh, questions about enemies, for 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 I guess for multi I guess it's fairly fairly multiplayer related. I mean there are um, pirate spawns in the default game. Will we see? Uh, any more enhancements to these multiplayer servers and the potential for uh, a little PVE content in them and a uh, little environmental threats outside of the, uh, no, mm -hmm. crashing your ship. Yeah. <laughs> if you've ever watched my stream, then I, you know. I, I cannot answer this like completely right now because we need to review, you know, like how, how are these things implemented? Where are the edge cases and uh, where are the limits of these uh, AIs? And, and then we will see like, I don't consider AIs to be major uh, feature in current space engineers, you know, because the main thing about space engineers is basically almost done, uh, and that's, that is, that is uh, the physics, uh, solid, robust physics, working in multiplier, people being able to build all these engineering or to engineer all these creations, and so this is for me step one, and uh, we are almost there, like it's almost done, and working as as intended and working as we kind of like dreamed five years ago and so that's first step that's like uh, Kenata was actually describing this thing with the with the ball and some specialized ball and so on so we are just going to finish this one universal ball where you can uh, create uh, like anything you want but there is no direction you know like it's up to you what you want to create and so this was for us always the step one, you know, like, let's finish this properly and, uh, and so on. And the step two will be start to taking it in some, let's say, narrow or some specialized directions. And we'll look on this, we'll start working on this uh, after this first stage, uh, after this first uh, like sandbox experience, like works flawlessly in, uh, in single player, multiplayer and... Uh, yeah. Hi, right, cool. That, that was that was that was my questions there. Yeah, you gotta gotta, gotta bring in a multiplayer, guys. There's a lot of questions in here about non-multiplayer related topics. If you guys if you see any from we're bouncing around the, on the moon. If you see any from the chat, Mark, there is one question ahead. in the chat from Ark True Peruk, and he's asking about uh, some scripts and probably programmable blocks, or maybe some some mods, but I think maybe even programmable blocks. So Zach behind it. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I think we move the programmable blocks to uh, experimental mode. And uh, the reason for this is that, uh, like, of course, if you have some very simple ex uh, programmable block, it doesn't cost much. But people started to use programmable blocks, for example, for rendering, you know, these banners, like they have some bitmap picture, and they render it in the game and the way it's being done it's uh, kind of like not efficient you know from the from the performance perspective because every little pixel in that banner uh, is rendered not like pixels on gpu you know where it's super fast but actually something almost like a symbol you know that you need to process and, and the render it and so on and if people uh, don't realize this or users of these programming blocks don't realize this uh, they can and they will copy paste many of these uh, banner uh, blocks, programming blocks to the game and then the performance can go down. So uh, the thing is that we didn't put almost any limits into programming blocks, but it also means that we cannot guarantee what people will do with them. 
there's a disadvantage. I think one of the dangers is when yeah, when a new player plays, uh, just joins the server, and then the, the server might be running low, and because the script's out of date or something, and they won't understand that. And that's that's kind of yeah. This is a good point. We can't control yeah. the the, yeah. the scripts. One so one thing that was like worried us worrying us very much with uh, multiplayer, and especially when we are talking about creative mode, like the server running in creative mode. Uh, was that uh, someone in that world can start doing something, you know, some actions that the other players don't see, they are not aware of that he's doing this, and the performance go, goes down and they don't understand and they think the game is bad, not optimized, and, you know, like Keen cannot do uh, proper programming and all these things. And uh, whereas if they are doing it personally, you know, copy-pasting and it lags for a second, they can kind of understand it. it's probably because I'm copy-pasting. But if you are just playing in some world and someone, you know, somewhere where you don't see is copy-pasting or running some super expensive scripts or something or air tightness, you know, like pushing it to its limits, you don't see it and the game runs slow and you think, you know, like the game is, is bad. So uh, this is the reason why we put these risky features to the experimental where it will be accessible by more experienced players who can understand this but what is also important is that new players they will need to go through some steps in order to get into this not so friendly or not so safe um, experience with the game and we really want to make the game also fun to play for completely new players Well, maybe another thing that, that I can also uh, talk about is that this multiplayer actually is not just about multiplayer. It, it was mm. also a lot about uh, performance optimizations. And actually it started with performance optimizations because like why would you working on fixing like doing prediction this or that in multiplayer if your performance, you know, if the like performance of individual blocks or uh, collisions and things like that uh, will change. So we started by optimizing. Uh, in the beginning, we had, we said a, like KPI, you know, this K performance indicator that what we want to achieve is 16 players on a dedicated servers, uh, each player having one car, one one uh, one six wheeled car, and this must whatever they do, you know, like if they will be crashing each other, whatever whatever they do, it should be running uh, uh, one sync speed. And so we achieved this, and uh, then we are looking for more scenarios because it's not just about wheels, you know, there can be other things. And uh, we are just looking for scenarios that can uh, put down our target of 16 players doing whatever they want. Uh, some of the things that we cannot control, just like this uh, programmable scripts or air tightness, we put to experimental mode. And uh, yeah. So in general, uh, we'll see, uh, we'll, did, we'll do comparison of the performance of the game, like how it is now versus, you know, six months ago. I'm really, like, really curious uh, where the performance increased, but just from seeing the game, how it behaves, I think in some like uh, areas of the game, it probably went 10 times, maybe 100 times faster. In some areas, of course, like we didn't improve because let's say it wasn't needed. Mm -hmm. But in many areas, I think we, we improved the game much. And usually it's not uh, like how some people sometimes think that uh, we cannot optimize something or so. And uh, sometimes, you know, like when you are doing experimental projects, sometimes you implement some feature in the bare bone version of the feature, you know, just some minimum viable prototype of the feature, because you just want to see how it works, you know, from gameplay perspective, if people actually want it. And because you also know that then you will get back to this feature and optimize it. And uh, as time went, you know, we basically put up together a lot of features that were done quickly, but not optimized. And last two years, what we are doing mostly is optimizing, finishing, consolidating these features. So that's one thing. And uh, yeah, so, so again, uh, the, the multiplier this multiplier update will be about performance and also about multiplier code. I was just thinking, and that's really good because, of course, not everyone's interested in multiplayer. Some people do like to play on their own in their own worlds. So I think that's what's really great is the fact that this update, even though it's it's kind of 
primarily that I think it's actually really good for people who aren't interested in multiplayer because everyone will, everyone will see a increase in performance in their worlds and also um, the other thing was I had something I was going to say about that um, performance and yeah just the fact did you say the fact I was uh, the fact that every block was kind of analyzed to see right yeah, yeah for the species mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> wow! Two a little out on the planet on a motorcycle. Let's because see. space engineering. So, Joel, this it. is still the the same. No, this is different. A different one. We are yeah. on Mars. Okay, and still this drill is still going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, Peter wants to use this drill, or maybe some similar, but maybe this one, for uh, kind of like stress testing the game. Like, uh, we'll use this auto test tool and let it run for uh, two days. You know, and we'll see what it does with the game. That'd be cool. Yeah, it's it's one of those things that I mean, I left it running. Of course, I, it's it takes quite a long time to get to get uh, through, right? <laughs> um, and we're already testing this. You know, like uh, how far it can get. I don't remember the numbers, but it went pretty far, but not that much because the the planets are usually so big. Yeah. So is there any, uh, any more questions from the chat now? I mean, if you guys have asked one earlier, ask it again, and uh, we'll see if we can pull it out from there. You might, you might have asked a question, we missed it, so just ask away and we'll see. <coughs> yes, one that did come up a few times. I already know the answer, but I'll let you guys answer this one. Is there any plans for a Linux version of the dedicated server? Uh, not officially, and not now. Like Again, like you never know what will happen in the future, but not right now because, you know, just time priorities. Let's see here, I'm trying to find a... Uh... Yeah, it's not multiplayer, guys. <laughs> so, okay. Ronin is asking if we have pet badger. So that's a good question, and uh, he's probably talking about Honey Badger, so we don't have him, and probably will never have, although kind of like we got some proposals that we can buy a Badger, and like the one that uh, got, let's say, like abandoned by, by parents or, you know, uh, damaged by, by hunters or something like this. But the thing is that uh, it's kind of wild animal and uh, uh, like, Taking it to home or to some like small, you know, enclosure, I don't think it's natural habitat for such animal. No, it's quite, it's quite. Honey badgers, they they need like big space, and they need to own it, you know, because they are like really like alpha, you know. So uh, this is the reason why we don't want to do this to to any badger. <laughs> we would want to support some badger, you know, like uh, in his mission or whatever. Uh, they want to achieve, but uh, in some other way. Yeah, and they are, they are also like master escape artists. So I think uh, even if we had a uh, honey badger, like he would, uh, he would escape. There is no way we would be able to, to keep him. <laughs> I a Pretty good one. Um, will there is there any plans for a way of respawning on a small ship? Because especially with servers, if you go anywhere too far away from your like main ship, it's kind of limiting the range because you're just going to lose your small ship if you die. That's a good question. I think in in the original design, we had this uh, medical base, uh, medical medical bay, or like a rescue pod for the large ships. That was the design. And uh, so not not right now. Anyway, so let me try to land on that. I was thinking the same. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're already coming in. I see you, the helicopter. Yep. Uh, you might want to wait a sec. There's some bumpy bumpy ground. Let's just do it on hard mode. We got this. Any land Are there any land particular? This is a question that's come a few times. Are there any particular? Um, mods that have popped up recently that you guys are just kind of really blown away by. Um, 
I know this is a multiplayer specifically related, but it kind of is. I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, I can't wait to try out a few mods in my multiplayer server. <laughs> We're almost down. I was down, but there's no uh, landing gear on this, so I'm going to bounce up whenever you... Unless I turn the damp. Whoa. That's not bad. You're down. So and no landing gear, so you're kind of rolling around. <laughs> all right, hang on. Everybody make some space. I'm coming in. <laughs> We're all landed on this, on a moving here's grid. The here's the Y-Wing. <laughs> of course. Black it's because... Apparently a Y-Wing. There's a, there's right. a problem uh, arising, folks. Oh, yeah? So, Mayday. Go leaders. Oh. Got a problem here. There's a hill. It's all right. It's all part of the plan. Take a left. I don't have landing gear on this either, do I? Oh boy, that's fine. This is fine. So no! back to this question, uh, like definitely, I saw some mods, and and we are sometimes uh, like posting them on our social channels. I just cannot remember any any right now from top of my head. Maybe Joel. Mods that we've been posting recently. Oh. oh um... You're actually better off. Uh, Navball. There's one that you guys linked on the Twitter. The, oh, yeah, the Navball is really good. Yes. yes. The MA yeah, Navball. It was, it was pretty, pretty awesome by Ultimate D. It's a really, really nice mod that gives you that Navball, which you can place on large ships. Or and do you want to try it here? Uh, we could, except I. We can't be having. We'd have to restart the server, so it wouldn't be like multiplayer related. Mm -hmm. But we can probably. It's probably due for another stream. We do just like mod showcase, right? Good point. But it's not going to be on this server right now, so... With this big update, can we uh, assume that many many of our favorite mods may have to go under a serious update? Um, I'm not sure how much has changed behind the scenes for modders with mm -hmm. this update coming out. Um, it, is it so substantial that we may see a lot of mods be uh, broken, or...? I, I don't think so, but... Um, like, you never know, you know, because sometimes something change. And also... Uh, some people, uh, some mods may be relying on some, let's call it like undocumented features in space engineers or some unofficial, basically kind of like injecting something, you know, and hacking something here and there. And that, of course, then we, if we change the underlying thing or the thing that this mod is kind of like exploiting, uh, it will stop working. So the risk is always there. Like part of our uh, testing checklist is testing few kind of like the most uh, we have a list of the most popular mods yeah, that are used most by popular people. Mods, and the tester are, testers are testing this, but uh, so we make sure that these mods are not broken. Of course, sometimes uh, we cannot guarantee this because there is some like fundamental change. Uh, but in principle, I think this uh, this update should be about performance and and multiplier and not about changing the API and things like that. But, but again, if people have mods that are kind of like hacking the game, then uh, it's hard to guarantee that we will not break those mods. There, I think there Fair are... enough. Understandable at a game in development. Yeah. Just, uh, just curious if this was like a substantial change where we can expect everybody to have to like go back and... At, at least the, stuff. there are no visual changes, you know. I mean, there is a little bit one. Maybe some people will be happy with this that we played a little bit with the visual, you know, like HDR bloom and this camera effect and things like that. So it's less um, dramatic, you know, this this camera things. And uh, but it's just few parameters, you know. It shouldn't be. Uh, it's not like a big overhaul thing. And for everybody who's joining, I see you guys in the chat. Uh, official release date has not been announced. I know that question comes up a lot. We've already, that was like the, one of the first ones we asked. I think we, so Wait, the, can we get our hands on it? The only answer we have is, is, is the answer that everyone dreads. It's the soon. It's the soon TM. TM. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, natural caves on planets. That's not multiplayer related, guys, but I, I get where you're coming from. That, that exploration aspect of it. But uh, yeah, keep it multiplayer. Someone in the chat did, did just ask. They said, question is by Birdie D. I have a powerful server ready to host SE. I plan a persistent 24 seven, uh, seven days a week world. Does MP or multiplayer have any issues being live for days slash weeks at a time? So I think the last test you guys did was for a whole week. Did you notice any sort of performance decrease when a world has been running for say an entire week opposed to just the previous 24 hour mm -hmm. tests? So what is good is that uh, there are a few things. I think we still need to do some some little work on this, uh, but in principle it works well. And uh, what is good is that uh, 
the performance is not like continuously decreasing you know so uh, that's one thing what can sometimes uh, be not decreasing but actually increasing is the memory consumption because we still as far as i know we still have there one maybe maybe more uh, memory leaks so uh, the memory consumption of that world can be growing 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 you know ad infinitum and but it happens only in some special cases which we don't even know which is the special case so we are trying to investigate this and, and it's the tough one so this can be something like working against but the, the good thing is that once the server restarts you know it's clean again and uh, it's fast and the memory consumption is, is low and so it's sometimes good to set the servers on periodical let's say every four hours uh, restarts and then i think it can run for as long as possible but still we will we'll look into this later you know when we'll have many servers running and so on and one thing that we'll be releasing uh, with this update is a is a tool like a new tool that you can use for monitoring uh, the dedicated servers so if you have one you will see some profiling of your one server if you have many just like us you will see let's say 16 servers uh, some people may know this like you know you have this task manager in in windows so something similar just on our servers and there we can see the sim speed like by individual time slots or like let's say every seconds or so uh, memory consumption what else you know this basic basic uh, basic statistics and you see if they are uh, within like reasonable limits or if they are go growing uh, without control like this memory leak you know it can just grow without control so this is what we are using for uh, like monitoring the uh, the health of the servers and people will be able to use this so so back to the question uh, I think it will be possible to run the servers for days and weeks Maybe with some restarts here and there, but eventually in a long term, even without the restarts, after we fix like every little edge case. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> just trying to test it out. It's I don't of, know what that thing was, but it flew great. <laughs> it's it's a really weird thing. It's got like it doesn't have thrusters in all directions. Cause it's, if I try and place it in here, it's only got thrust, uh, thrusters facing one way. And how it turns by these set these, oh, damn it. <laughs> so you see here, if I do shift, it, it, I'm not doing very well here. Trying to rotate, it's quite hard to get going. But the um, when I'm using the Q and E keys, it's actually rotating the uh, the center grid, and that's also rotating the squares around it to point the thrusters mm -hmm. where they need to th where they need to go. But um, it's quite hard to control, especially with lots of two thrusters. I'm just testing the various stuff to see how it feels in, in the uh, in the server here. Yeah, that's the <laughs> my. I've d I definitely haven't been uh, making my flying skills look any good with this uh, stream, have I? <sighs> Where are you guys all at then? Because I think we kind of got spread out now. Oh, so, oh, we're actually back at the start. Uh, heading back to the spawn area. Okay. Federation is cool. turned. Oh, a lot of faster than I Ooh. planned on it. This is fine. Oh man. Federation has crashed. <laughs> That was intended. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Hey, Marek, look at the, uh, the <laughs> hole here, Marek. Hmm? Look at the hole. It's been going while we've been talking. Oh, my goodness. Successful landing. Oh, oh it's quite deep down there. Yeah, I'm, sort of, I'm going to measure it here. With so, the monitoring tool you were mentioning with the servers, is there any plans for that to become sort of a, a, a control tool as well, some sort of control panel for the server, help people perhaps deploy their own dedicated instead of having to get one with his own built-in control panel? Uh, yes, yes, yes. It should be part of this. Like we, we also uh, uh, read the uh, server admin tools and game admin tools and, and so on. This is a big part of, of this update. And is, there, is this kind of, the, once this is done and released and you're kind of happy with it, is this the plan sort of that's it for MP and now we're going to move our focus onto something else or are there oh. going to be sort of some iterative, <laughs> iterative updates coming afterwards? It's from chat, I'm sorry. It's, this, it's yeah. them asking, not me. I, I think we'll, <laughs> we'll iterate on this multiplier for some time, uh, but not feature-wise, more like, uh, you know, the reliability and maybe performance. Because, mm -hmm. like, for sure, this is space engineering, so people will start pushing the game to the limits and uh, we'll discover some new edge cases that 
we never uh, tested here or you know like it never happened and so I've, I'm quite sure that we'll iterate uh, on this update a little bit but uh, feature wise I don't think we'll add that much more like just what is there making better and then we'll move like regarding the features we'll move on uh, on something else okay cool by the way Joel one question uh, yeah man can you check if the stream is actually going to YouTube? Right it now? is. It's because the chat, the chat would have said something definitely if, if they, if they. Oh yeah, have. yeah. I'm reading it from they, the cheap. They yeah. would have let us know. Where are you guys? Um, uh, at the my station. station. Okay. It's uh, it's Lamar's one, yeah. I'm down, yeah. down the, t down the, uh, the hole here, which is 800 meters deep right now. Uh, the question is, oh, can just I? Out there. Oh, oh, I, oh, I am so sorry. Uh, I, I thought we were doing drill for a second, killing the server, but it actually wasn't. Someone pasted in. Grindy gears, uh, um, the massive. That's so Don't do bizarre. it. That's right, it, man. Do you want there. to be a land ship on the horizon? Not, not. Yeah. Does this thing have stopping thrusters? Fact, not enough it, to do that. Oh, who's shooting I, cannons I, at us? <laughs> oh wait, who's coming down here? <laughs> no, he's, uh, that, that ship is not meant to do that. I didn't design it to go straight down. <laughs> he's not coming back. I did uh, have an instruction manual. Oh uh, well, you know. Time to abandon ship. Um. You may want to delete that. This is what happens. This is what happens when you try to fly somebody else's build. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I'm gonna pull a jack. Oh, you're, right. you're coming down here now. That wasn't my plan. No, 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 if I just delete these blocks, oh. I got it, don't worry. The whole top bit falls in. Oh, the, and, pirate, yeah. the pirate ship just shot. Oh no, actually, oh, I shoot. think we may be being boarded. <laughs> We're uh, being broadsided by the yeah. land yacht over here. Yeah, the pirate ship just sent loads of rockets in. I think it's time to board him. I'm coming out. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm changing faction. I'm defecting. This looks like a far cooler place to be. <laughs> yeah, they've got, they got sails. Oh, they oh. had sails. Had. <sighs> this is why we can't what? have nice things. I like his steering wheel. Yeah, this is pretty great. Minus the mass is gone, but you know. Uh, but we didn't need that. Extra Still sailing wheel. Features. Smooth sailing. Features. Awesome sauce. It's like Sea of Thieves, but space engineers are thieves. <laughs> oh, wow. It's amazing what you can do. Like, I'm so pumped to get 16 players because now we can oh, have like proper, well, I guess land yacht battles here. We can have pirate fights. I was thinking like, you know, multi crew like battles, stuff like that, where you've got a team of engineers doing damage control. Battles like last a lot longer, especially when you've got people running around and you're welding up reactors and blast doors. You can, it's be yeah, cool. you can really do it. You can, uh, it's especially like. Of course, the problem is if you have like uh, the main problem is, is griefers. But if you have like some players who you're, you know you're, you know of and stuff, and you've got a bunch, and you can actually organize like a battle, I think you can have some really legit experiences now. It's uh, it really has. Yeah, been, you get your approved uh, list going. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, the feature, and I haven't run a, uh, a dedicated server in a long time. Is there already built like a, a feature to have um, certain people have like priority over others to get into a server? Already yeah, for it's already public there. release. Yes, it's there. Out. Yes, it's yeah. there. Okay. Like was that uh, new though? I can't think. I think this is new. Yeah. Because we, we also needed it for the public tests. That, uh, for example, I couldn't get to the server, you know, because it was full. So we we put there this like priority. Or, uh, it's reserved slots, slots basically. Yeah. So in the server admin control panel, you have a, a tab for reserved slots. And you basically just add someone's Steam ID. So even if the server's full, you'll still get in. So it's super useful, uh, you know, especially if you're an admin or something else trying to get into your own server or what. You know, it's 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 a useful feature. There's a lot of good things coming uh, with the actual uh, admin tool. There's a whole below deck section on this build. I love it. I'd get out of there if I were you. Oh. What? Why? Why? This is well. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I wanted to know if it could withstand a cannonball. I mean, the lesson, <laughs> the lesson learned there is makes a beautiful shipwreck. Let's see here. So, minus, here's, here's a question, then, guys. So, uh, this is kind of something that you guys in chat and Discord can answer, and so can the chat. Um, minus that ISP issues we're having earlier with the stream cutting out. What would what would you say like out of out of ten? What would you rate how the how the multiplayer look? I mean, you might not go to play it itself, right? I'm not sure. This server's been pretty full, but out of ten, what would you what what did the multiplayer look like? It was behaving right. I'm kind of curious. 
This is for the streamers, right? So it's for you guys. as well, though. Yeah, you can say as well. Um, I'd say from like just first impressions, like after been playing like most of the tests for the last month, and I guess we've been running them. Um, I'd just give it a nine. Is what I'd really give it. Just because of like a amount of stuff we can now do. Like so many new players, so many new possibilities. Do create amazing fun. Have proper battles. Have months where we can do faction wars. Yeah, it's it's a lot more enjoyable for us now. Yeah, that was a good question, Joe. Actually, quite useful. Thanks, guys, awesome. for putting your numbers in the yeah. chat. It's really so great. People to see. mostly <laughs> say like eight, nine, sometimes seven, of course, but usually eight or nine, which is good. I'm, I mean, uh, I think. But no one, is, well, no one is. Or sometimes he's giving like ten, of course, not many. Oh. Sometimes someone is saying like nine, eleven, <laughs> and there is ten. And nines. Yeah, it's very good, I think. I think the guys who work on this, you know, Chendo, Petr, Philip, and other guys, they will be quite satisfied with mm -hmm. themselves. What in the hell is going Look on? Look at this thing, yeah. Oh, Check shocked. out the shocks on it. Look at how many rotors it's got to make it work. Yeah, this has got custom suspension, <laughs> basically. This was one of the... Yeah. This actually won an uh, engineering contest. This This kind of... This is a massive. Uh, wow, this is. Oh, well, yeah, this is the. Uh, okay, because if like someone pasted in the, yeah. the digger earlier and that kind of killed the sim speed, there was that digger's got like probably a thousand grids on one vehicle, right? This is insane. I, I don't even know how you can make this. <laughs> you know what I mean? How can it work? Crazy. This suspension's blowing me away, though. That's awesome. How well does it run? Does she just explode or does she drive? I mean, she's holding together now. It's you turn those rotors on. Oh, it's lowering right now. Oh, look at that. Hang on, I got a. Um, oh, he's, dri he's driving and lowering it because that's the idea. You drive. It's actually to pick up another vehicle. Shaq, I should probably no, link hang, you hang up. Hang on, I'll this, drive up on the back of it. I should probably link you up this uh, this workshop world that has a tons of creations by Grindy Gears all in there, and there's like a big rover. Thing that actually goes onto the back of this, which is then lifted onto the back of the other vehicle. It's pretty mad. Now, this is not the vehicle that this was meant for. <laughs> it's yeah, a lot smaller, work. but it'll do. It, it doesn't really fit at the, on the ramps, on. so I'm going to use a little bit of my, my hydrogen thrust to I get her over that bump. Thrusters. Little cheaty thrusters. Those are, those are my boosters. I need a main right, for Mass Effect. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, I'm on. My nomad Break. won't spawn in. It needs mods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sad times. Yeah, going through my list, I'm like, hmm, what doesn't have mods? Not much. <laughs> so, hey, I want to come on. So I guess a oh, it's lifted it too. So I get a question to actually kind of actually reverse that is, so for all you guys, both chats, you know, YouTube and Twitch, what would you give the current multiplayer? The multiplayer you've had for like, it's hard to say for like the last year because obviously there's been some changes there here and there, but for the, uh, the how would you rate out of 10 the experience in multiplayer right now? Just so I can gauge between what you just gave for like this watching this and what you what you currently have i'm sitting at a i got two compared to this if you're comparing this directly to what we're playing right now the old version i'd have to give it a two or a four because this is like another game yep this is very much like the game we always wanted i mean uh, I, I, I don't like the number thing Partly because I haven't had a chance to actually test yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Um, if it's you know kind of I mean. a silly thing, wasted. I know it's and true. It's a bit arbitrary. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, knew I was going to say something like that. <laughs> yeah, you? I didn't. Know. <laughs> yeah, I, really I think was. one of the biggest worries that I have is when we, when we and you, uh, wasted, were trying to get the the local server hosting to work. We had some serious issues, and I'm mm -hmm. hoping that by the time the release comes, we'll be able to host our own, you know, four or five people, and 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 be able to get in. We just had joining problems, um, but outside of that, and you had everything's issues. been pretty amazing. <laughs> when uh, you were hosting locally, like from your desktop? Like, so, yeah. so you were client yeah, and server local host. at the same moment, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we had some issues where we couldn't get more than uh, what, th three people? We couldn't I, get I the fourth person. It, 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 fourth person caused it problems, yeah. But I mean, that's what I was mentioning about local hosting earlier. Is it'd, be, it'd be nice to see that get this level of, uh, of update as well. I know it might not be possible, but it, that convenience of just being able to, especially even as a new player, just being able to get in, they probably pick up the game with a friend and they just want to be able to jump together and play and, and dedicated servers and all that. Lot, it's a bit of a barrier, uh, especially as, you know, 
just thinking from my own perspective, I'd be wary about joining some big server with loads of people on it for my first mm -hmm. time. Because I'd be like, oh, but there'll be loads of people there. Will they steal my things? Like, I, I, I'll look like a noob. Just want to jump in with, with the friend I just bought it with. Now, yeah, uh, one of our sense. devs said, oh yeah, sorry. One of our devs said that this is fixed in that current dev version, this joining issue, by the way, uh, Wasted. That cool. was uh, fixed. Um, yeah, but it will it'll go out with the next test uh, or the release, whatever comes first. And for the, the dedicated, or not for the dedicated, for the local, will we see this kind of stability if your rig can handle it hosting? Is this being transferred over to that too? Probably it whoop, should, whoop. but uh, I, I still need to like review this this one thing, you know, this local hosting. So I don't want to promise anything. Uh, the thing is that uh, it's more performance costly when you are client and server at the same moment. And so that's, you know, like why it's not as easy. And, uh, but as I said, like, I need to review this and, and then I will address this in the blog post. This is crazy that this thing is driving just fine with both these cars in the back. And I've got uh, pistons on here as well. <laughs> yeah, my fine. one's not, my one's got a rotor like turret on the back of it. <laughs> yeah. Is that abomination in the background? This is. <laughs> This is the lander abomination. This is what it turned into when we got 16 people to join the server and just connected all of the landing uh, atmospheric landers together into this. And we had swarms picking up What's merge that? blocks and connecting the batteries on for us. If you painted it pink, um, then it would get destroyed. It was very good. And this is what we made. And then we flew it around with, with 16 people oh. on it. Oh, you put it in. Oh, man. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, I remember to take a there. blueprint. That is the worst thing ever made in Space Engineers. But also one of the coolest things I've ever made in Space Engineers. But made in an hour by 16 people, yeah. That, that was our co community there slapping that sucker together. What's actually really amazing is now we've got access to <laughs> 16 no. people on a server. It's how fast they can do stuff. Wow. But it flies. Uh, terribly, but it flies. Oh, it we had really, we had really well. Nice. We had like crews running to put that thing together. People were stripping ones down as they arrived. People were like requesting landing to find a place to, to drop down their vehicle. It was, it was something that we had never experienced in SE before that like we not only can we do this we can work together and do this and we've actually got to get organized there's enough people here that we've got to get like roles going it's cool it's really cool yeah I think three guys just took it upon themselves to deal with the battery problem and made a little ship out of, of scrapped out parts and then that ship spent the whole time just relaying batteries onto the vessel and connecting them on so we didn't lose them got to talk uh, to those guys two of those batteries fell off two of the batteries <laughs> did fall off yes <laughs> <laughs> Which is beautiful. It's it's a beautiful abomination, is what I call it. Well. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's very it's nice. our abomination. Okay, guys, <laughs> so I will, I will come. I will, I will go. And uh, Joel, you probably want to stay, right? Yeah, I, I can stay for a bit. Yeah, I can stay okay. for a bit. Yeah. Good, good. So it was very nice to speak to you all, and uh, I'm like glad that we have this play together. I'm also happy that I could answer your questions and I hope you are happy with my answers. And uh, see you next time, hopefully with the MP release or maybe some other, you know, like event or something. So yeah. thank you and bye bye. Thank, thank you, Marek. I think I think this was a really good session to have. It was nice being able to hear it from the man himself and get mm -hmm. a load Definitely. of the community's questions answered. And it's a you know, nice open way of doing this bit of development. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Eric. It's been good. Awesome. It's been really thank good. You. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Cool. I have to decide what to do now, Mike. Mm -hmm. uh, how about you guys? In the ch how about you guys? You, you three. Are you, are you still okay to hang about a bit? And I know Wasted has some stuff to do, but how, how you yeah, doing? I got I got to run myself. But <laughs> this was really good times. See Likewise, you, yeah, I think thanks. it's left for me today. So. Okay, Actually, guys. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, chat, for letting us field, our, field your questions. Indeed. It was, it was enjoyable. I think we got some, some cool ideas about where Space Engineers is headed. Definitely. So, you guys, massive thanks to Captain Jack, Captain Shack, and Waiter Space for joining us on this uh, wonderful adventure. I say it was, it was really, really great. We've had some great, uh, did some really cool tests here. Oh, it's just a shame about we had those ISP issues earlier, but apart from that, it's actually gone uh, better than, well, I'd say better, better than I'd hoped, let's put it that way. Yeah, so this is uh, really, really awesome. Um, and check out those guys' YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with these guys. And uh, if you guys, you're all mods there, if you want to plug your own channels, uh, go ahead. Ah, <laughs> oh, cheers. 
Go ahead, Gay. They do awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome content. I've been yeah, watching these. I've known these guys for many years now, so it's uh, yeah, been really, really great. And they answer great. They ask great questions as well. So. No, I appreciate it, fellas. I'll catch you all later. See Please you wasted. The rest of the stream and whatever Zoc gets up to. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Better wasted. Zoc, it was a lot of fun. All right, guys. I'll be back Shack. over on the XP Gamers YouTube channel. My name is Captain Shack. Head on over there if you want to check out some cool content. Uh, see you guys later. See you later. I should have probably done that bit as well. <laughs> you lost it there. That was a nice, that was Bye. well rehearsed. That was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that about Dan ahead of time. <laughs> kind of YouTuber are you, man? You gotta throw it out there. <laughs> All right, later, guys. <laughs> stop, stop anyone? Uh... All right, guys. Well, I'm actually gonna open the server up here as well, so you can guys can join. I don't know what the status is. What have we got? It's five players. So if you've been waiting to play, then we can play now. Okay. Uh, I I think I can't stream long because I've actually got to uh, meet somebody at the train station in just a little bit. So I can't stay long, but if you guys want to play for a bit more and I'll try and talk a bit, if, so many questions are asked, were asked actually, so I don't know how many more I'll be able to answer, but if you want to hang out, then that's it, that'd be great. Right, Joel, thank you for having me and stream. I will catch you later as I was due for a meeting a minute ago. Cam Jack, <laughs> so pleasure as always, man. Thank you so much, see that's you soon. Nice, mate. Have a good one, bye. <laughs> right, let's see, no, not, not one of those. Uh, Tetra. <laughs> so the password for the server is 12pass. That's 1-2-pass. Um, I'm going to quickly actually, uh, what am I going to do here? I'm actually going to reset the server. I'm going to delete everything that we have here. Okay, that's everything deleted. And I'm going to make a safe zone for you guys. Let me just quickly turn off this. So I'm going to get this set up a little uh, safer so you guys can um, have some fun here. So we'll just spawn in and we'll see what happens. And thank you for your patience, guys. I just wanted to, the, re the only reason why I changed the password on the server was because I wanted to stop potentially the stream from going down because note, uh, ever since I changed the password, we didn't seem to be having those problems with the uh, internet going down. So that was the main reason. It wasn't to lock you guys out. It was just for the stream stability, right? So now that we can kind of risk the stream a bit more, we'll uh, open this up and we'll see what happens. Stream is not down. Yeah, it should be good now. should be fine. And thanks to all the moderators as well tonight. I see a lot of moderators in chat who've been helping us out, so that's also great. Um, there we go. Now we're filling up. Fantastic. We could also try doing, like yesterday, we did this thing where we had uh, 30 players and, uh, well, 60 players. So we could try something on a bigger scale, more players. Um, I don't know. But really, guys, it's, been, it's really, really appreciate you guys uh, hanging out tonight. Um, you answered some good questions. I, I do apologize as well if you couldn't get your questions answered. There was so many of them. There's so many. I don't know what the stream is up to right now, um, but uh, I hope you're as hyped as I am for the release because I can't even like, I just all day I'm just thinking about what we're going to be able to do um, now with the multiplayer. And I have plans to do this uh, uh, racing uh, tournament so but what this will be is this will we have these racetracks made by Sir Hamsterlot and I want to do this full-on championship where people will be able to submit their cars we'll have heats we'll have last 16 and basically get to the final because now that we can have like up to uh, well at least 16 securely racing around and we actually tested we had 32 driving with 1.0 sim speed as well I've got so many plans for uh, kind of um, yeah community based tournaments and competitions now that this multiplayer is as it is because we really can get more people here. So let me just uh, quickly get in a welcome center so you guys can join. Oh, hold on, let me do the safe zone first. <laughs> Actually, this is kind of hard to answer questions because there really is so many. Uh, seeing Twitch chat and YouTube gaming at the same time has been hard. And that's probably one of the other reasons why um, we were looking for questions or Manic was looking for questions. And then if one of the guys in Discord answered one, he'd probably just shift to that because it's kind of a lot of uh, stuff going on the screen here. Uh, right, so new say zone, right on. We're gonna do something about, you, did you guys wanna get, a, we haven't had any, puns yet this uh this stream i don't know was, was there was that someone asking there someone wanting a pun and as always and no, i we'll do it at the end we'll, we'll keep something for the end there 
but I ultimately I, I kind of I, I always find it hard every day is hard because nothing will ever top the cyber hounds get you cyber down line it's just ah. so if we enable this I enable uh, configure filter set this to blacklist and then if we go back and enable the zone this zone is now completely safe and if you're inside that you can't hurt anybody I'll make it the maximum size as well so we've got a big uh, safe zone area here out you want one <laughs> I have to keep to the end so let's see uh, welcome center and then you guys can find us where we are and let's just get 16 players all in the same spot here um, actually Philcon are you still there because we could up the server count to 32 now because there's definitely a lot of people I think who want to get stuck in so if, if you want to Philcon we could up the server um, to more people for the hell of it because I, I probably need to end yeah maybe 20 minutes I'll have to end um, allow building why can't I build Oh, the global permissions. Ah, yeah, the global the global permissions overwrite the um, safe zone permissions. So I need to go to here. Global permissions. There we go. This is the MP branch, yeah, Laguna. Don't fall, it gets you down. What was that one? I don't remember that one. It was always, uh, it was, there was one that was, if your rotors are banging, better hope your ship ain't clanging. That was, that was one of my, one of my personal favorites. And the other one was, um, I can't remember that one. There was something about getting you down, but that was the Cyberhounds, I think. So you should be able to spawn in, guys. We've only got 14 people, but I'm guessing there were some people trying to fight to get in. I don't know. It's, it's strange. It kind of gets to 13, 14, and the last couple of slots always take some time. So, later. Have a good, have a good night, Tex. Thanks for hanging out, man. Oh, clap. Oh, oh, yeah. That was terrible. That was a really bad one. I promise you, I was definitely made to do that that Christmas song at gunpoint. That was that was a. That was definitely the most embarrassing, yeah, yeah. I think Philcom might have headed off, so I don't know if we have to increase the server limit right here, guys. Um, <clears throat> what can we do with all these players then? You've all been waiting. What do you fancy doing? Is, um, is Equinox around? He's my, he's my, he's, he helped me out last night when we were streaming uh, with getting the server where we had 60 people in. So I'm kind of tempted to try out that same FPS map with 60 people again because um, I'm, I'm tempted. But we'd have to go on a different server because I can't set this server up. I'm not managing the server from the side, right? Um, <clears throat> Fighter Arena. Is there no, oh, I've put some music on as well. Apparently there's no music. No, there's no, there's no music right now. So I'll just play it from YouTube, I guess. Is Joachim playing right now? Oh, welcome, welcome back. Philcon, could you up the server, good sir, to 32 players? We're gonna try something a little bit, uh, just, just briefly, we're gonna try testing it a bit more uh, severely here, okay? Let's see what happens. Hey, Genuine. Uh, um, since you last played, potentially there has been a lot of updates over the last uh, couple of years since it came out. So I don't know when you last played. Uh, the last four or five months, there hasn't been an update because we've been working really hard on this update that we've been going over just today. All right, that will be the server restarting, guys. So get ready. And... Oh, the OST is great. I'm gonna I'm gonna get up the original OST again. We were playing earlier, the uh, the classic songs that I had and, and many others would have had uh, if you played the game back in 2013. Because those songs are still there, but they don't come up as often, right? So, Space Engineers. There we go. is it <laughs> so 
32 players coming up. And I'm going to quickly set up the world so we can get 32 players all in the same area. Uh, there you go, you can see it now. 12 pass is the server passwords. We've done robot, you know the robot wars, you mentioned that Zoe, we've actually done, uh, I, I do, I've, well not recently actually, but we were doing loads of this kind of stuff um, on my stream about uh, four months ago. Uh, Clang bots, we, we, we had it. It was similar uh, to what uh, Mike B, and some of you guys may have, might have seen the original um, MBL, a mechanized brawler league. So it was kind of something like that. And this was before the new multiplayer patch, and we had so much fun. And I think with this new multiplayer, one of the things I want to do is up the scale of those uh, bot battles to have more players um, and all that good stuff, right? Ah, uh, the memories. So yeah, just put, give me a little wave in the chat if you actually played, if you've, if you've been with us uh, in the community since 2013. I'm kind of curious to see how many of the, like, the oldest timers. I'm sure we have a lot of old timers, but the oldest of timers. Kind of interesting to know. Uh, let's let's do the oh hold on I need to stop the just for a second turn off the shooting and damage while I set something up here. All right, wow, okay, yeah, we got some we got some old timers here. That's great, awesome. <laughs> oh, let's move that. And we're for nearly full, 29 players. So I'm going to quickly delete all the, the grids and we're going to go back down to a planet and see what fun we can have. Okay. Let's go to spawn in a Earth like planet. Thank you, Philcom. December 2013. I, yeah, I bought the game. I'm. I think I bought the game on release date, on the actual, on Steam release date. It might have been a couple of days later, but it was, uh, yeah, I'm looking at chat now. I'm trying to look at chat now, Gwyn. I'm, I'm trying my best. Um, <laughs> just flicking between it. Right. Probably this one. There we go. Just for a second, guys. You can build and stuff. Just a second. Uh... To display the yellow information battery as you hit Shift F11. What's the current server specs? Uh, the current server specs were mentioned earlier, I think, or even they were mentioned on the forums for this the test. We we talked about it earlier, actually, um, Beardy. And I think one of the things is like I'm not going to say too much, right? But. Uh, you guys have seen a bunch of new things in the game, you know, changes uh, that have been made. That's, that's anything from the actual performance to the actual UI interface, really. UI, right? Um, but all I'm going to say is there is still some surprises in store. So I'll leave it as that, all right? I'm just, uh, just putting a little bit of mystery out there, okay? I don't know. I don't know if you would. Uh, if it's something that you'd expect. Hmm. Yeah. The server password is twelve pass. Uh, Voz, the engineer. Keep them a surprise. I'm keeping them a surprise. Don't worry. Uh, release date, Ray. Uh, just we are really. Um, we've kind of been talking about it here tonight, and it's uh, it's not long now. It's um, really not long because we're still testing and we're still gonna, on, you know, on Monday we'll be assessing this stream and actually what went down, the issues that uh, occurred and stuff. And we've spent so long on this multiplayer, right? You know we have, you've been waiting. Uh, you know, I did this test stream the other day to just test the restream and so many people turned up because they were just so excited, like, oh, we haven't heard anything from Space Engineers for a long time. So I know it's been a long time, but you know, if, if we just need a little bit more to, to just flush out these final bugs, I really think it will be worth it. But um, that's why we wouldn't want to say a concrete date because uh, we might look at something and say, actually, we want to spend, I don't know, another week doing this, this, and this, okay? So let's go on the lake. That's a classic place to go, isn't it? On, on the Earth flight planet. Nice and flat. Oh, hold on. Uh, why am I. There we go. 
Right, so I'm going to quickly set up a spawn point and a safe zone, and then you guys can do whatever you want. Well, just, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Careful my words. As I saw someone in chat earlier mention, it's still a sandbox, and every single sandbox out there can be brought to its knees if you try hard enough, right? And um, Space Engineers is not... Uh, safe from that. There's, there are certain builds or certain size builds that if you paste on the server are uh, assured to actually uh, cripple it, so... Right, here we go, this is spherical. 100 meters to do. We're going to do configure filter, it's going to be set to blacklist and it's going to be enabled. And then I'm just going to paste in this welcome center and you guys can get in and we can just try and get 32 players. The first thing I want to do is get everyone on the server. We are full up nearly and get them all standing in the same position. I've got to do this. And I've got to do uh, this as well. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. So you guys should now be able to actually spawn uh, at the safe zone. So just come and stand out on the lake here. We'll just see how we, who we can get in. And I'll just read the chat for a bit because I know you, I know some of you guys are getting quite frustrated at me. Let's have a look. So Long Wang, also about that question, we also um, mentioned that we've been so focused on this multiplayer and uh, Marek mentioned the survival style of the game is uh, one of the next things that we're going to be working on and that kind of includes the uh, the early experience because survival is something right that um, you load in and the start of that can can be quite confusing for new players so the answer is kind of yes but not right now do you know if the controls screen will be updated to show all the combo con bomber controls that are not listed ration reality american that's interesting i, I don't actually what, what kind of combinations is that? So I'm kind of curious, because it should be. The, uh, the F1 menu should actually show all of the uh, key combinations. We have this advanced controls thing, so I didn't realize there were hidden ones. Um, I'm, actually <laughs> I'm shifting between Twitch and YouTube, Claire. I'm trying to do a bit of YouTube, a bit of Twitch. Uh, couldn't just people push out whatever ship you're building out of the safe and blow it up? You're right, actually, because pushing is not prevented, but it's it takes a bit of effort, right? And if no if no ships are allowed in the safe zone, then of course they can't do that anyway. So that it's really, guys, the uh, the safe zones can open up so much gameplay from uh, from both a scenario side of things, but also from a, a like a server uh, side and having these faction hubs or these neutral hubs where players can go and be safe and trade and talk and whatever, but not feel they're going to be griefed and attacked. So these, these safe zones are really, really key uh, for a lot of things. So we've got 32 yet? Still not quite 32. It always seems to struggle in the last two, and I'm, I'm wondering if that's because uh, there's people loading in and people still trying to join, because it should be fine. Um, I'm noticing your message, Darkner. I mess. I noticed it. <laughs> uh, was a great stream. The only right. Okay. So I again have to admit, Cronton, it was talking about the air tightness, wasn't it, and the answer to that. And it the fact the feature is staying there, but it's it will probably stay in experimental mode. Right. That's what Marek said. Um, Good. There might be a bug where people take up slots. Possibly, Gwyn. There could be some kind of bug going on. And then there's a reason why, is, as well, that the, the, the server is not actually, this is not released yet, because there are still issues. We, we streamed today because we wanted to show you guys the progress and where it's at right now. Um, but the reason it's not in your hands officially, like in a public uh, final way, is because there are still some little things we're, we're kind of working out right. So. Some of those may or may not have been visible tonight. 
Plans yet for hosted public servers. Are you talking about official servers? Because we actually spoke about this tonight, Shad, and that we are there is there is plans for official servers. Um, I think Marek mentioned that for the first month of for the first month after re release, we'll have like a lot. And the problem is these are really expensive to run. So we're gonna uh, kind of that's gonna be also something we're gonna work out there how many and how about we go about doing that. But for sure. Yeah, Billy. If you if if you give us notice that you're visiting Prague and office tours are are available. Uh, yeah. So yeah, official servers are going to be something, and we're gonna and I mean these are all official servers for now, and it's been great actually seeing people hang out here. So the password's twelve pass, but I think you'll struggle, Wooly, because we are kind of mm. maxed out right now. Let's just camo. Let's just your grindy gear. I'm going to turn this off just for safety. I mean, I'm sure you guys are well behaved, but <laughs> I've had some issues in the past with the, uh, the public voice chat when streaming. Um, Mez uh, who knows, Daisy Dream? This, all I know is there's a lot of plans for servers from our side in the future. Um, and I think once this release is out of the way, and we can really look at what it's going to be long term for this. I'm betting there will be people willing to pay for playing on servers with subscriptions. Well, this is the thing, right? And I've been kind of doing this kind of, as I basically call it, arbitrary way of uh, asking it. But just just put something out there. This is not, this is not an official survey. This is just me asking you guys out of curiosity. Um, who would pay something to have access to a really good server that was had a really strict, well not strict, but had a really well organized thing and ran well. I'm just kind of curious, right? Just put an 07, just put something in chat if you would. I get it if you wouldn't, because you've already paid for the game, right? So I totally get if that if you wouldn't be down for that, but I'm kind of curious how many people would be like, if the performance and the maintenance and the, the running, the mechanics, the scenarios, all those things was actually really well done. We're talking like a, a dollar a month, maybe. Like one dollar, even 50 cent a month, right? It could be nothing. I'm just kind of curious. So like never, some people say, me, me, me. So yeah, it's it's mixed, as I expected, right? Exactly, Corey said we already paid for the game, so it, it makes sense. Um, right. But what you guys, already people are kind of um, hosting servers normally out of the, the kindness of the heart because what they have is all the community servers cost money to run. I know X-Wing Ian, uh, he, he hosts servers for me, right? And they the servers cost $250 a month, for example, to run. Um, and often this is you know, this is coming out of his pocket, right? And that's just great. And people often do are willing to provide their own hardware or pay for hardware to do it. Um, it's just um, about getting the hardware that is actually uh, really, really solidly going to run Space Engineers. So I, I was just cu purely curious, guys. So as I expected, mixed mixed answers here. And I'm sure you guys have experience with playing on servers that take donations or whatever to run. Not space engineers, anything, ARC servers, whatever there are, whatever servers there are, all servers out there um, cost somebody money to run, be that uh, a company or individuals or clans or communities, right? So I just got pushed out the safe zone there, of course, but luckily the Go permissions are still on. So I'll, I'll let, I'll let the, the hell on loose unleash here. Let me let me think what we're going to do. We're going to race across. Should we get some cars in? Let's uh, see. I'll... Uh, let's get the, the Lord Landlord in. Landlord. Landlord. Land underscore Lord. Huh. Day. There it is. I say, guys, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wrap it. I know we haven't done too much. I've just kind of talked to you, but uh, um, I am going to have to wrap it up now. I normally wouldn't on a Friday, but uh, I've got, yeah, I've got to get to the uh, train station of all places. Let's just see. Oh, did I not paste that in? Seconds that I had it on pace, people. It's okay. If people pay some stuff and have some fun, guys. I'm just trying to get this one big one in. Um.
There we go. Alright then. <laughs> Swarming into it like flies. So we've got, I think, nearly 32 players in this right now. I'm really excited, really, just to hear you guys, the stories that, that come out of when this is public and we see a lot more servers. I'm really excited to see um, the experiences that people have now. Experience, experiences that are going to be enabled by this update, right? Yeah, so someone's taking my ship, but that's okay. Unlock the handbrake. If we need to. This is a, this is this is the kind of conversation we can have another time, guys, about this idea. Like we've got ideas um, for the going into the future, and I'm sure you guys do too. So Xbox, we didn't mention it because it's a multiplayer stream, but just for all the Xbox fans out there, it is kind of a pain to hear because it's this it's, it's, it might it's the same answer we've given for a while, but it is in a, in active development still. Uh, we've got guys working on it, so it is coming. Xbox. Uh, on Space Engineers is still in the works. But as you can see, we're making huge, huge, huge changes to the PC version. Like, the, the stuff that's gone on under the hood for this Space Engineers uh, multiplayer stuff is massive. Some major, major things have changed. And if you're in the middle of porting a game to another uh, platform, it can cause uh, complications, right? So it is going on still, but that's why, you know, until uh, we've got some stuff sorted out here, um, the Xbox is also going to be delayed by this, you see what I mean? So I just want to key that out and almost spread the news because I know people do all the time ask, Xbox, where's the Xbox? But it really is still being worked on and please do tell you know, tell your friends, tell your communities that <laughs> it is it is definitely still in the works, okay? Um, shall I turn damage on? We should have some crazy fun here. Um, am I driving now? No, I think someone stole my... Oh, I am driving now, fantastic, okay. We've got 31 players on right now. How many cores? This is a... A Xeon server, if I'm not mistaken. But that doesn't help you, because that doesn't tell you how many cores. But all I, that's, I stopped at Xeon, because I was like, it's a Xeon, but... No, I can't remember. Did I say Xbox and Space Engineers? Space Engineers on Xbox, sorry. <laughs> So welcome to you guys, still 8 cores, there we go, thank you Philcon. So 8 cores Xeon server is running this right now. Oh, the people lock, lock the doors. Can you make a joke at the end of the stream? Yes, I will, I will do an end of the stream joke, all right? <laughs> Don't you worry. It's been too long. It's been a while since we had, you know, days long gone from the, uh, the update videos. So I th it'd be only fitting, wouldn't it, to do a um, quote to end on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to think of something good now. What we'll do is, I reckon, to finish the night, is do one more of those fighting scenarios we did at the start. And I think that will kind of round us, come back to the start of the uh, the kind of whole stream here. So um, I'm, I realize I'm skidding around. I'm just kind of freaking out about where I gotta be in a bit. So um, yeah, I'm gonna actually do that. We're gonna restart the server, guys. And for the last 10 minutes, we're gonna do the battle again with 32 people and see what the hell happens, okay? Right, so if I do stop, this will restart. This might give you guys an opportunity to join in. <sighs> yeah, you're driving on ice. That's, if there was some weird wheel behavior, it's because the ice, ever since the uh, visual overhaul, was really slippery. No, was it the, no, it was the physics. Sorry, it was the uh, physics overhaul that got the, uh, the slippery ice, which makes sense. Yeah, the don't drink and jump drive, of course.
can you fix the server so we can do it? Yeah, the server will keep restarting, so the server will carry on when I'm left. And maybe if there's any of our admins around, they can help clean it up. Let's just close this here. Stop marrying doing that will help maybe a little bit. Okay. Just for a second. I've never seen a server fill up so quickly. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Good, good job, boys. Good job. I know it's. Uh, if you got into the server, it's it's. You deserve a round of applause. I think it's. Has a hammer? Has a server ever taken such a hammering? Uh, Kenny, I I would love to see VR as well. Like I, I've lucky enough to actually get to try the prototypes of VR, and it really is awesome. And everything seems so much bigger. Even the classic blue ship is just enormous. On a minute, we should give let everyone load in right now. It's uh, sorry, ASP. Right, pings high is it? Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, we've got ping issues, lizard. Actually, I had this yesterday when I was streaming, and the fact it's not appearing suggests that the server is having yeah some kind of issues. And I don't think it's a server. I still think it's our ISP is, is uh, having issues with this. Again, we're having connection issues. And that only happened when we uh, had the um, everyone joining at the same time. So I'm, I'm kind of worried that this is going to crash the stream for the final time. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Peace from Germany, Adrian Tobias. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly kill it. Before, I'm gonna get out before it kills the stream because I need to, I will end it up here, guys. I'm so sorry. I, I really did want to do a bit more, and any other night I would have streamed for like three more hours, really. Um, but I, I must go. Uh, I'll get in trouble if I'm late. So I'm gonna do something crazy here. One second, let's see. If you're just arriving to the streams, I recommend viewing back and listening to the uh, actual answers that Marek gave because honestly, I didn't expect such a Q&A based stream. I thought we were gonna do just kind of do um, testing and then end it, right? So now uh, it was kind of great that we actually got a Q&A session in there and the both the, the, uh, the, the guys, uh, the YouTubers and you guys got to answer some really good questions, I think. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, someone out there will do a kind of summary of what was discussed and what was said, because uh, it'll be good for all those who are uh, been around, um, haven't been around. In terms of, I mean, I there will, if there could be another stream like this, if we're doing another test next week, we'll have to see. I'll be streaming, um, testing the multiplayer. Um, I. I don't know though, because this weekend, is the test ending? It was supposed to be ending in about an hour's time, so I'm not sure if it will be. But um, I'll be testing the multiplayer in the coming weeks, so if you're interested in doing that, you can always check out my channel. I stream on Twitch every day, so you can find me over there. Um, yeah, it's shameless, right. Um, but if I've done everything, got links here for that. Okay, fine. A quote, yes, yeah, quotes. <laughs> I'll do a shout out here for everyone in the chat. So I'm going to try and do two chats at the same time. So, get ready for this. Uh, people in the YouTube chat, who have we got in the chat tonight? Just put a wave, anything you want, and I will see if I can read your name out here. This is going to be uh, a crazy one, I think. All right, let's see. I'll come back and then we'll go to YouTube, then Twitch. <laughs> All right, I see Thomas, Specialist, uh, Kenny McCormack, Candy, uh, Candy Van, Captain Cheeky Breaky, Juan, Odin, Slinky Deer, Joshua, Murray, Frosty, Mavericks, Rob G, Malfrick. Oh no, actually, I shouldn't. <laughs> and it's gone. Okay. Um, Hans, Lordy, Ninja, Vozzy, uh, Netjack. Uh, oh man, I, 
Okay, it was starting good and then suddenly, <laughs> I tried, I tried. Let me see, uh, uh, Linus Wolf, uh, Lagino Loire, RPG Archer, Skinny Ninja Studios, Ricardo Miranda, Lethal Owl, Mr. Wart Vortum, uh, Keno Beatsy, uh, Eddie Rockbell, Kenny McCormick, Warpig, uh, Zexnum, uh, Eddie Rockbell, uh, Phoenix City 4, get in there, get in there, if people... Sevo Seven, John Morrison, uh, Silverbane, uh, Mohammed Gold, Golf, Gof, Gofer, Golferidan, uh, Felix Vangini. I'll give a couple, couple more seconds on this, trying to get you guys. Stephen Taylor, Danzi, uh, Captain Arco, Whispers Enter, Prees, Beardy, Thermal, Santibag, uh, Maverick G, Ricardo, Mergin, Chris Wright. The seventh one repeats. I think I got. Uh, Zaphonus Prime, uh, Ambio, Cherry S, Treeman, Philip Wendy, Heiko, Silver Bane. All right, I think, I, okay, I'm gonna go to the Twitch now. So anyone on Twitch, who have you got on the Twitch chat tonight? Let's see some, let's see some peeps in the Twitch chat. Shout outs, I'm sorry if I missed you, I, I try my best. We got Thanks the Stream, Bleachman, Killam, uh, Bomber Boy, uh, Mac Pian, Dun Hiker, Sofex, Hersogen, Henningstone, Jasper, Curvix Creative, Surchas, Tyke, Cronerton, Ike, Ladanto, Gatekeeper, Renstung, Kingdom Brag, uh, B Swiss, Tyke, Ronin, Space Engineers, Love, Diamond, uh, 488, Daniel Jackson, B Swiss, Ventus Prime, uh, Lundatu, Ryaki, Dennis, uh, Hanfolk, Gwindelmere, Thike, Kak, uh, Silent Fighter, Rivian, Ferre, your first, um, me, Dear Lordy, Gliz, Blizz, maybe someday, Gaz, Warpig again, he's come over from uh, uh, YouTube, Timon, Quantum Stigma, whew, so many of you guys, I, you know, normally I do this, right, I try to do this on my streams, but it, there's, there's too many of you guys here tonight, this is great, it's actually, it's a good sign when there's too many to actually even say, so, ah, <laughs> <sighs> yes, been a pleasure guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight, and I hope you're hyped for multiplayer, um, it's really been a blast and um, we will see you all soon. I actually also recommend, if I just get this up here, the multiplayer test is still going on right now. I don't know where it's going to end. You can see we have a bunch of servers here, 32 full. So if you're interested in playing some survival uh, or playing on that creative world that I just set up, feel free to join any of these. Um, we have servers in the UK, in NA, EU, um, and uh, also in Australia as well. So take this opportunity to try the multiplayer for yourself if this stream wasn't enough and if you're kind of busy then wait for the full release because the full release will be even more uh you know perfect so that's all for now if you're interested in the full list of uh clips twitch clips dank memes and chit chat check out the discord server Thanks for watching, I'll see you all soon, or maybe somewhere in the servers. And as always... If you're hyped for some more SE updates, Crack out the celebratory cupcakes. I'm just gonna leave now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. Thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure. See you soon.